That's the background part. I said, do you want to do something funny we could start on? <laughs> Not this. Not whatever this is. How rude. How rude. You're Ryan, we need a quiet on set before we start. Quiet on set. <laughs> it's too late. We're going. Um, hi. Ah! Oh, hi. Um, I am getting a little bit of a weird. What's new? Say, say hello and say how great you are. Hi, I'm Ashley, and I'm so great. Oh, right. my name is Ashley. I that's like good games. I play with my brother on the internet. Yeah, that's probably oh. enough. <laughs> and we're done. And close it oh. up. All right, shut her down and good. Um, yeah, you were saying like, uh, you had like a weird sort of mic flutter there. We'll work on all that, but I think it sounds good now. Hey, oh, I maybe can, I can change a setting. Guys, should we just start over? Let's just start over. Hold on. <laughs> no, it's too late. I'm trying to imitate the background noise, but I feel like I'm not nailing it. No, I think you're nailing it. Um. Did you have a setting you actually wanted to change or are we good? Do you want me to? Let's see. What are your settings? Well, Ryan. You are still like coming in a little weird. I don't know. Oh. If that's weird. I think we're fine. It's possible I'm using my. Uh, you say my mic's weird? A little. Yeah, Anne says it sounds kind of warbly. That's just my voice. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. And I have like, <laughs> I have like sort of like a Hank Williams warbly southern draw. You do. It sounds like someone's trying to punch you in the throat a little bit. Yeah, we're on Discord, Anne. Oh. Do you have a magical Discord fix? Okay. Wait, let's see. I might have to just change headphones. This is how we start every episode out. Exiting and coming back <laughs> in. All right. You want to do that? You want to just close Discord and come back? Close out of the call. Close Discord. Wait, maybe um, maybe I'll do this. Hold on. Okay. I think I know what the problem is. Ryan, quick, do our famous intro. I'm Ashley, and this is Ryan, and here's our theme song. Hit it! Oh, we like playing Sherlock games, and each one feels the same. But it's not because it's different, and oh. the puzzles are new, and I'm going to solve it right before you. But keep on trying, and be as good as me. Sherlock! Are you still doing it? Because I thought... Oh, here's verse two of the great, great song. It's the best song <laughs> around. And you'll never, ever have a better great. song. Great, I didn't have to listen to any of that because I took out my headphones. <laughs> <laughs> Is it... Uh... Okay, this should be better, but... Talk more. <laughs> oh, wait, it hasn't been fixed yet. Hold on. Oh, dim, 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 do, 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 do. <laughs> Anne says, I'm going computer. to exit and come back. <laughs> <laughs> you do sound better, I think. You have to talk. I so think I there's something weird with my Bluetooth. Yeah, I could see that being the case. If you were trying to use those Bluetooth headphones before. OK, is this better? Yeah. Hey, I'm going to play a mystery time now. Oh, this is a better song than Ryan. It's Mystery better. songs with siblings. Friday playing games with Ryan. Sherlock Friday. We're all here it's to better. have fun. It's worse in a lot of ways. Uh, creatively, oh, definitely. Okay. 
Um, it's still a little <laughs> weird. Like, I, I think you should you should close Discord and come back. Try that. Actually, why don't we all try it? I'm going to go. We'll go to standby again. We'll both close Discord completely and come back. What do you think? I think it's a great idea. OK, we'll be right back, everybody. Whoa. Bye. Doing, Ashley? And we're back. <laughs> as soon as you what get, happened? as soon you're like, we're gonna test the microphone, and it's sounding really good and good. And I'm like, great, it sounds good. Let's go back. We're back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited to be back. I'm not excited to talk to you as much. So there's a difference. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, oh, we're still getting oh, like. Oh, I just found. Yes. You yes. just found the meaning of life. What do you need? What'd you say? Yeah. You were saying you just found something. I just found a little control where I can turn the game down. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can do that. Yeah, if you right if you like hover or right click. I didn't on the know game it existed, itself. is yeah, all yeah. I'm saying. Yeah. If you're like, I'm hearing too much Sherlock. How's my voice now? Your voice is okay. Wobbly or not? It's still uh, occasionally a little wobbly. I think we're good though. Hopefully okay. it'll it'll figure itself out. Um, Should I counteract it by talking like this? Oh, hey guys, and try to be also wibble wobbly. Yeah, so you it's more like, out. hey everybody, let's talk about. Hey, it. welcome to Ashley. No, that's... microphone time. <laughs> okay, so now what it out? kind of a show is Ashley's microphone time exactly? <laughs> this is where I test all the microphones. <laughs> this one is my favorite. <laughs> Okay, I guess. I still feel like it's a weird premise for a show. It is number one in its time slot. It is very Torgo. <laughs> I take care of the microphones. Um, all right.
Uh, oh, hey, Alex. Alex is in the uh, chat. Bold big blank. Were you the author of the Why Did You Kill My uh, No, I think maybe that was Arnie who wrote the podcasting apologies one. Um, but that's a funny one. <laughs> okay, enough. You should have just taken credit, Ryan. What are you doing? Just definitely say that that was you. I mean, uh, secretly, I hated that one. I didn't want any credit for it. No, actually, that's a great <laughs> one. Um, okay, well, let's just jump in because uh, well, I don't want to uh, I don't want to destroy any more people's evenings here. And we're going to definitely destroy your evening, but I want to do it on purpose. <laughs> um, you want to intentionally do it, not when not with microphone problems. No. Okay, Ashley, I claim, yes. I make a promise to the universe that this will be the last time we play this game. <laughs> That's what Really? I'm, wow. I'm putting that out there because we have to be close, don't you think? I think so. All right. I thought we were going to, um, I just hit a button. I thought we were going to finish it last time because not only did G, not only did we get to the, a room where we had all of the things we were supposed to collect and a mysterious butler, a mysterious like evil relative disguised as a butler came and told us the plot of the whole mystery. Yeah. And then threatened to kill us. And then a mummy showed up and killed him. <laughs> and then it was like a crazy timer. And it was like, unta, 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 unta. And yeah, he yeah, almost yeah. died from a scorpion. And it was like, all we have to do is jump across this ravine. And I was like, this is clearly like a big boss mystery battle. And then we just end up in a wine room again. And we've got a whole nother chapter. With the, with the totally sedate music once again. I feel like you're forgetting. Yeah. I feel like you're forgetting. That it wasn't just unta unta. It was like. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that was the end, as far as I was concerned. Is it an exit? Yeah. Uh, and now here we are once again trying to make it out of Sherlock's house. Oh. I'm sort of just like having PTSD about this room. <laughs> first, um, first we were stuck in it for like five hours trying to find a rag, which was not on the floor. Oh, the rag. You really, you, you, you know, just, oh. I'm so offended by that rag. Definitely wasn't there. The illustrator had not put it in. No, it was just and like. And now we had to work our way back. But Barbie hand over nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so, then, okay. So remind me, we're stuck in this room. All right. We're stuck in this room. What do we have in our pocket? We're trying to get through this door. This door has like movable or pressable okay. buttons all around it. And there's something that's supposed to interact at the top. We know that. Okay. Uh, also, let me know. Yeah, you get a little. Yeah. Yeah, I said that. No, <laughs> let me know. <laughs> let me know if the audio is OK in chat. I'm, I turned Ashley up a little bit. Now I think she's been auto rotated back. I'm going to turn her down a little. She's just always yelling. Um, Do you need me more on voice? I need you actually less from voice. If you could do less from your diaphragm and more nose voice. No can I hear, problem. Can I hear oh, how more that nose would be? voice? Yeah. Like you need sort of like this? Yes, I think that's you it. You need really nose voice? Yes. Well, actually, I don't like it now that I have it. <laughs> Sometimes you don't know what you don't want so until you have it. We're in a wine room? Oh, God. Um, yes. Oh, and the, what's in our pockets? We have. Yeah, what's in our pocket? A middle. <laughs> gear you're already upset seeing the inventory. i'm mad honestly you were mad the last episode and i was fine and now i'm just i kind of had forgotten where we left off and now all of a sudden i'm stuck in a wine room and all i have is a banner that says elizabeth and i'm upset about it it's kind of insulting especially we have this we got this gear out of that weird mummy in the last room it says middle gear, which yeah. makes me think that there's supposed to be a better gear to ex that exists somewhere. Xbox Live is sending me a message yeah. for some reason right now. Um, we have this bag, which was a purse that we found a note in. Uh, the note, let, let's look at that note. The note seemed to indicate that maybe Elizabeth was somewhat at fault. Remember this? <gasps> no. <laughs> no, okay. As, as you can tell, I was shocked by it. Uh... Oh, right. The mummy exists. I've seen it with my eyes. I can't understand what it is doing in my father's house. 
Looks like it knows everything here, even me. I've never been aware of all the hidden places which are here. It's very dangerous. I fear to approach it. There's really some mystery here. Anyway, I can't believe that it is several thousand years old. However, that's all we have. And that was on Parky, who had the bag. So, like, Parky has been talking with Elizabeth, potentially. Oh, yeah, Parky had a purse that had the last of the little statues in it, right? Right, yes. Oh, well, we found that in that purse. Why did she stop halfway? We know she didn't die. She sent us a letter. I know. Um, well, she didn't send us that letter, though. Oh, you're saying she didn't die. That's did true. You? Okay, she I sent us... That. I thought. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Um, we have this lantern that we haven't lit yet. We have this mummy bandage still. We have this piece of broken bottle. And I know that no one can tell but me. But in order for the volume <laughs> of this game to be enough for the stream, I have to listen to it so loud. And this music... <laughs> is making me want to murder somebody. So the combination of this m music and my wonky uh, audio is going crazy right now. Yes, and it happened just as you said <laughs> wonky audio. It was perfect. Oh, no. And we also have this piece of broken I can't ball. tell what... Hmm? Okay, and we assume we have to make it through this door. I think so. Now we can backtrack. So we're in this wine room. We've been pretty thorough in here, but every time I say that, we find something new. Uh, uh, we can backtrack to this room. Oh, that's a weird view. Hold on. I always think there's something on the floor we're missing now. Hmm. I think we looked here. Anyway, we can backtrack to this view of the exploded room. Yeah. Uh, there's this mummy that we haven't... Uh, but we don't think there's anything else to pick up, right? I Not that I've seen, but every time I say that, I'm wrong, so... Um, Wait, but there has to be something we can pick up. Or or there's something that goes in that door, at the top yes. of that door, because you know you get a little wrench hand. Right. But nothing we have in our pocket goes in the door, so we have to pick something up, question Pres mark? Or maybe it's just insane. Presumably, yeah. I mean, unless we haven't combined something in the right way, but I think I've tried... To everything on everything and then there's this room where uh, all the excitement was happening but um where, uh, two scorpions almost killed you but you just put a bucket oh, John, over them okay. right exactly and oh yeah we kind of killed that guy i mean a mummy shot him to be fair he, but he, he did then there was not then there, <laughs> then there was some sort of like cave in can i go over here now no i can't <laughs> The bucket was safely in place, Sherlock. And we crashed again. <laughs> oh, and I lost Ashley doing that as well. The game literally killed Ashley, everybody. Oh. Is she coming back? Does that mean did I do something? <laughs> I don't know. The game crashed and I lost you as well. Well, my Discord, like, crashed somehow. Maybe the problem's on my side, but I don't know. I've restarted everything. Um, all right. We're gonna, we're gonna get this game going again. Whether it kills me. Okay, there you go. And, uh, there we go. Okay. Um, so that was a good reminder that we can't go back there. <laughs> <sighs> But we can go to this, just this front part. Um, <laughs> the final act of this game is the mummy coming for you in real life. I believe it. It might point. happen. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I've turned it way down so I can't hear it. Good. So that's good for you then. We've solved yeah, it for you. Yeah, <laughs> so I'm doing great. Also, I can't hear my own mic plum, so I'm, I'm having a great Friday. How are you guys doing? <laughs> this is the most stressful Friday of my life. Uh, so Ryan, this is not related at all, but just because I haven't talked to you yet <laughs> before this happened, this is not going to be interesting, but are you ready? I Something happened which you, I know you personally would hate. 
Okay. I was watching a series on a streaming service. Now, yes, it was BritBox, and yes, I was watching a mystery. Yes, of course. There was no way to have guessed And this, <laughs> this particular series was like chugging along, and then all of a sudden it started auto-advancing to like specials from the series that were way filmed later. It no. was not going in sequence. And no. so every time I had to go back and like check IMDb and to see like when everyone was released because I started watching them out of order and I I was like this can't be happening and I know Ryan is the only person who understands how frustrating that is that would I would cancel my subscription that would drive me absolutely insane <laughs> I was incensed was when bad. you were trying to watch Murder She Wrote and they were just like missing episodes and they tried to cover it up by being like oh yeah this is episode 2 season 7 it wasn't you were missing that episode. They just reordered them. No. That's that's false advertising. It is. Um, oh yeah, thank you, Lemon. This Marvel shirt. I got this when I dressed up as Tony Stark for uh, our Halloween thing this year. Yeah, It's a cool one. Thank you. Um, so we can go back to that entryway, but there's nothing much there. And then, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. Quantum Leap, man, that's that that deserves a rewatch. I like that show a lot. You're a hero for switching between two services. Yeah. This is why I started a play okay, server. Okay, I'm focused. I've rallied. I'm focused. We're gonna get through this door. Okay. What step one? Step one. Have You're some fun. in the room with the door. You're doing great. Okay. Good. Ooh. <laughs> oh, I feel so much better. <laughs> Step two. Uh, continue to look around the room. <laughs> you didn't seem... I wouldn't call that confidence. Uh, this is excellent work you're doing. Thank you. Um. Okay, now I have run out of steps. Okay, so but you're... I think we can work as a team. <laughs> so that's what you brought to the table. <laughs> now it's time for me to step in a little. Could you tag in a little here, Ryan? You're right. What have I done? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no problem. I will be a motivational speaker. Oh, oh no. It's too heavy to be moved. <laughs> so, it's too heavy to be moved. This is where we found the broken so bottle. Be... Oh, go ahead. No, I was just saying this is where we found the broken bottle. We can't get through this door because it's that's where we came in forever ago. It's too I like the idea that you're like sort of an estate agent just like walking us around this room. So, like, so this is where we found the broken box. <laughs> and the meth lab was here. Now that's been removed. Uh, don't Now recommend... this is sort of an alcove, but I think you could fit a futon. <laughs> this is going to be a great guest room for There's no window. the grandparents. Now it's legally I can't call this a bedroom, but... <laughs> now if you're... You could crib in here nicely. <laughs> it didn't. Um, okay. There, there has to be something best. that tells. <laughs> what? <laughs> Instead of a half bath. Yeah, that's what I was going for. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, like a joke. I, I, I caught that one late, and then it really tickled me, and then I was sort of mad at it. <laughs> <laughs> That's my That's specialty. My <laughs> That's my journey with that joke. Um, there has to be something that tells us what pattern we're supposed to be making. or I mean, right? There has to be some indicator of how we're supposed to dot those stones. Yes, that's my thinking. Okay, so they all seem to move, I think, except for the top middle one. Okay. Yeah, the top middle one has the, the, and that's the wrench. Put in a little wrench. Right. Okay. I don't see any pattern here. Neither do I. I don't see anything else I can touch on this screen. <laughs> homes on homes is a great bit. <laughs> homes on homes. <laughs> Alex says bottom left stone. Yeah, I, I did. Got that one. Although it sometimes looks. It sort of breaks it when you press it. Easy to next it. Easy to next it. Um. Yeah, and I believe I've tried everything <laughs> up here. 
and we can't usually combine things. Now, so this broken bottle, why give me a broken bottle? Because you're going to have something? to fight someone. Well, he did say it would be a good weapon. I don't know if you've noticed, but I gave my I made a little press present for myself and turned the music down. Hopefully, everybody's okay with that. I think that uh, once we get once we solve this one and get some new music, I'll turn it back up. You deserved that, Ryan. Thank you. I feel so much better. Um, this was that meal we found earlier. You used a perfectly good fork right there. You could be using to like tunnel yourself out or something. Yeah, it's not really. Let me... What what is this dinner? Is it one chip, one slice of cheese, and like uh, some loose deli meat? Yeah, we got a piece of human flesh, an apple core. Great. This is a pita chip. Uh -huh. Oh, 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 I didn't even see the apple core. This is leprosy, I think. Okay, great. Yeah, I can't figure out uh, what we're missing here. I don't see Stodd in the chat today. He's normally our game master. Um, too heavy to be moved. I'm not ready to cheat in any way, but Stodd's good about just sort of like giving us it's the motivation. It's too heavy to be moved. Hmm. It's too heavy. It's too heavy to be moved. I, I, I think we have to go looking for something. Okay. That has a pattern. Okay. Okay. It's going to tell us the cheat to that door. Okay, I like this idea. Well, let's start all the way back in that first room because that has the hieroglyphics and stuff, right? Yeah. Okay, I like this plan. Also, why this gear? Yeah, it does say middle gear, which does imply that there is a top and bottom or a left and right. Right. Now, Ryan, there are two scorpions in this room. <laughs> okay, which one should I touch? <laughs> Do not... Let what? them bite you. I'm just going to try. Because it will crash the entire game. <laughs> um, okay. I'm looking for, like, the same... It is a robot mummy. I just sort of... I just sort of uh, realized that. You're right. It's totally, it's totally true. Okay. Uh... I don't see... Check the ceiling. Have you checked the ceiling recently? That used to be your favorite Have game. Have I checked the ceiling? <laughs> you know I love checking the ceiling. You're right. I mean... <laughs> in the... in, It's just Sherlock Holmes being like, ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> I want adventure in the great <laughs> white somewhere. <laughs> Meanwhile, a man is dead at his feet. A man, is, a man has died, Sherlock. <laughs> Have some reverence. Poor Jonathan Parquet. I, hmm. Feels a little something for him. Poor Jonathan uh, Parquet. Okay. Hmm. I know we keep thinking we can't pick anything else up because we've tried, but. <clears throat> Let's tr we'll try. We'll try everything. Surely there again. must be something hidden. No, you're right. Yeah. I mean, this happens all the time with with this game, where we think we're done, and then you know, there's a weird corner that we didn't consider, or we did consider, and it didn't work one time, and then it works the second time. Is this um, the only spot you can see it walk around this room? Yeah, I think so. Without getting eaten by scorpions. There's a scorpion here, which I'm pretty sure we've tested, and we've also looked very thoroughly over here because. We did that before we before we moved out of this area. And the same yeah. thing over here. And I think I can only stand in this doorway without dying. I mean, I guess I'm not 100% mm -hmm. sure, but I don't see any other places to go. Whoop. This lantern's hanging by a door. I have a lantern and a door. Okay. It's gotta mean something. This door is wooden. There's sand and glass. Wait, this reminds me of the sand from upstairs. <laughs> we get it, Sherlock. <laughs> you know what sand looks like. Mm, mommy took a bath. <laughs> there we go. Oops, wait. Anything down here? No. Okay, move on. Yeah, I think so. 
this time? There was this riddle, which definitely... Yeah. We answered correctly and the game answered wrong. Right, like, yeah, that was... Where it's like, the answer's truth. It's like, you can't eat truth. No, the answer was clearly nothing. The answer was nothing. Although, maybe uh, that was a bad guide that Stav was looking at. This is the board we put down to get over there. Can you somehow jump down there into that room? Is there like a whole room where you haven't found yet? Can you get down to the bottom floor? I like the way you're thinking because that would open up a lot of opportunities. I don't uh, know how to do it, but let's see. Can you use the, there was like a chain we were swinging on before. Right, this one. I uh, assume that only gets you one direction. Um. It's weird that I can't walk across this bit, because I can walk across a smaller bit that looks just yeah. like it over here. Um, yeah, the chain gets us over here, but there's nothing to say that there isn't some way to get down here. We have been in this... Wait, have we been in this room? Maybe not. I mean, no. We've been in this in This, this looks room. like a coal room or something. Yeah, you're right. There's some kind of boiler. Or we've been in... Yeah, we haven't been below there. Yeah, you're right. Well, there's also a door. I don't know. There's a door over here. Maybe we can like get to this room from some can, other way. Can you pick that board back up now that you've walked across it? I don't think so. Let's see. Mm. No. Mm. We've tried putting That's the, the gear back mummy. in the mummy. Doesn't want it. Like a broken <laughs> bottle and kill this. Aha! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think you're right, Anne. Uh, it was probably some like weird view we aren't seeing, right? Just like that other time. God, that was annoying. Yeah, um. Boy, oh boy, I will not miss this mouse. Do you think that there's. The rest of the house is crumbled too. Like, do you think that there are authorities outside who've been waiting for like days? Yeah. Well, we're trapped in here messing with our mummy. Yeah. They're also having to solve the rescue crew is also having to solve all the riddles we had to solve to get into the room to find us. Yeah, they're like, God, when I mean, were these that mummy people... got out somehow? When were <laughs> some cop is like, when were these guys born? I don't look at the statue again. <laughs> Write it down. No, I remembered it. Yeah. No, write it down. The paramedics are like, I think this is the sand we saw down in the bathtub. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Anne is, is is agreeing with you here uh, that we're trying to get we're trying to get down down somehow first, which. Mm -hmm. Does something happen in your house? It's sort of like a weird metal pop. Can you hear that? I think it was my radiator. Oh, the radiator, of course. Classic New York apartment. I'm just doing ambiance for this boiler room. I've set up a soundscape for us. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think so, Alex. It's just the door stones in that room. I mean, there's there's a few things we can look at. It's the only thing we can actually touch. We got a case of the door stones. Well, it's door stones, Doctor. Tommy Doorstones. All my life, yeah, I wanted to be a doorstone. <laughs> okay, great. I'm just going to move on from this it's bit. Like a I agree thing, that so. um, it feels like we can't get down there now. Like good fellas, you get it. <laughs> no, no. Hmm? No? No. Okay. <laughs> I didn't get it. All right, well. I wish we could wait for this doorstone to pass. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to come um. out in sharp, jagged chunks. I mean, we could have medical assistance, but they're busy getting chased by a mummy through floors up. <laughs> there's a bunch of Scooby-Doo shenanigans going on up there as they try to get us. They're like, there's definitely nothing left in this room, and they can't get the box open. <laughs> we we brought rags. Um, we are we have supplies in the ambulance. <laughs> we have a ladder. We have an we have an axe. <laughs> We're prepared. We'd get to them, but we can't go across this little red velvet rope that lets us get upstairs. <laughs> 
Is it possible that there never was an Elizabeth? Oh no. And Parquet <laughs> wrote to you pretending to be Elizabeth? I mean, it's unclear, but it, the letter indicated that we had met Elizabeth because she's like, I'm marrying your cousin, remember? But what if it was Parquet yeah, in a dress right. the whole time? <laughs> He's like, I'm Elizabeth. We don't know. <laughs> we don't know for sure. I mean, this game. Holmes was catfished. I like the idea of catfishing someone by pretending that you're going to marry their cousin. Like, it's such a long con. <laughs> It worked, didn't it? It worked. Hey, you can't argue with the results. Yep. He, uh, that listen, Parquet knew that he was never going to get to marry Holmes. Like that's a stretch. Yeah. But right. maybe Holmes's cousin is like a sort of a real like lovesick puppy and just falls in love with everyone. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Arnie says, "Is this the mystery of the trashy garage?" Yes. Arnie, we're trapped. Yep in a series of rooms with a bad puzzle. <laughs> yeah, I don't see anything to do in here. So we're assuming that there's like a combination of the stones that need to be pushed, right? Like two are down, one or up, or that's whatever. That's I thought. I mean, I don't know how else you would, but that's just a guess. Or, or a combination or... of stones, because you've, you've definitely pushed every stone. I pushed every stone, yes. You've moved every mountain. I've climbed every valley. We've tried to call the stone. So... <laughs> Let's try again. Mm. Mm. And you can't build anything from the things in your pocket. No, but let's try. Well, see, we don't have any any like you know icon for it, but let's. Try one more time here. Yeah. No? You have a lantern, but no matches. Can you use your lantern on the lantern that is sitting next to the parquet and somehow light? Or do we have another fire source somewhere? Can you light your lantern? Uh, yeah, I can try. I don't think, uh, I don't think I saw that, but. <laughs> Arnie, usually we have someone in the chat that Googles for us. Well, yeah, I mean, we um. usually try not to not to Google, but Stodd, a couple of times we've been stuck, Stodd has looked it up and given us sort of a hint in the right direction. Now, a handful of those times, it just would have been impossible for us to ever get come to the conclusion the game wanted us to come to. So I don't regret it. But uh, but yeah, we, we basically try to use it as a last resort, but we're not above it. What about the one that's next to his body that's the one that's lit i think yeah i haven't no. seen any of these that have like that are interactive um but again yeah we can, we can try it anyway here poor jonathan parquet can you like change into all of parquet's clothes and pretend to be him mm -hmm. and then try to get his insurance money yeah. Now I'm That'll marrying you, the cousin. Maybe that's what. <laughs> maybe that's what gets you out of the stone wall. Like his insurance password is the password to get through the wall. <laughs> What's an insurance password? Oh, Alex has googled. Alex, <laughs> keep it to yourself fair. Well, until you, you know. It's fair. Until we ask, but I, I respect you. I understand. Also, this is nowhere near how slow it's gone. It's gone much slower than this. <laughs> Buckle up! <laughs> um, it looks like we could walk so down I'm this back to plank. The same... Yeah. I want to see how to do it. Is there anything else to pick up in here? Like, One of these you boards? You could slide down. Yeah. Maybe use the banner to slide down. Like, da 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 da, 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 da. Yeah. Um. Poor Jonathan <laughs> Um. Okay, I just feel like I've come to the same conclusion that we either need a key that shows us the pattern that the stones need to be pushed in, or we need 
another item to pick up that <laughs> I decided that to try it again. With the, with the top stone. Right. I love how he just falls like a sack Ooh. of potatoes. Um, I know. They they have like one animation and it doesn't matter how he dies. He's just like, ah. <laughs> he goes, loop. <laughs> Have you tried Don? Well, we just tried it, Arnie. Now that's a silly question. We've uh, tried dying several times. <laughs> we've tried dying when we didn't even know we could try dying. <laughs> We're so good at it, actually. We've tried dying in multiple ways. We've sort of diversified our dying options. Our portfolio. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, oh, no. Okay. You escaped! Wouldn't the, no, mist, wouldn't the best mystery of all be that we're the mummy? What if the mummy was inside of us the whole time? What if the mummy was Watson? And that's why he wouldn't come on this adventure with us. Because he's secretly a mummy and he's too embarrassed to say it? Yeah. Doesn't he know that we would... So that keeps saying it's too heavy to be moved. Do we have some kind of contraption that would, like, cantilever it or something? I mean, not really. I think that that's no. just telling us why we can't go through that door. It's too heavy to be moved. I think you that don't think um, a broken bottle could move no. it. <laughs> not really. What about a banner that says Elizabeth? Okay. Don't let it be said that I didn't try. It's too heavy to be moved. <laughs> <laughs> um, Alex. I think so, that's a darkly. I was gonna say this. Uh, it's technically 2002. The, the, this is the 2002 PC version. 2008 is the DS version, I think. What were you saying? Yeah. Uh, it's too heavy to be moved. I was going to say, I think uh, House of Darkly mentioned this before, but that banner payoff better be really good because oh, we have been kidding me? around for a hundred years. I, we need to like... <laughs> trying it on everything. It ends with us meeting Watson and calling him Elizabeth and we put it on. <laughs> it has to. Yeah, but no, I mean, this game does, even for 2002, this game is a little bit behind the times. Um... Maybe, is there any Ryan, way? if you had a big enough house, oh, would oh, you oh, build oh, a oh, wine oh, cellar? Oh, 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 oh. Okay, let's play that old game we love to play in Sherlock and the Curse of the Mummy. <laughs> what am I about to pick up? Uh, it could be anything from... This is for $500. A piece of wood to a piggy bank to a mummy. Okay. Show me mummy. <laughs> it feels like a powder keg. Oh. This place is dangerous. It's a powder I'm keg. Take some with me. <laughs> All right. This place is dangerous. So we're going to get some explosion. I can't put it like that. In I can't bag. put it like that, like a monster would. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Put it in the bag. Okay, we now have a bag full of gunpowder. Can I make a wick? No. The banner? It's the gunpowder from his exploding death. Yes. Yeah. You do. They you buy in bulk. That's how they get you. What if you just throw that bag at the door now? Why was there? Happens? Why was one of the wine casks full of gunpowder in this wine cellar? I don't know. And how come the thing you picked up was just like moving a cork out of it? <sighs> All right, maybe this gunpowder goes in here. Yeah, it does. We're gonna somehow do that though, right? Yeah, I mean, it feels like it wants us to make a bomb. Um, okay. Uh, so we need some kind of fire match scenario. Presumably, or we throw it into a fire that exists. Let's try again. Let's try a game. Can we use the stone as like a flint and make a spark somehow? What stone? Maybe one of the wine bottles also has matches in it. <laughs> That's just how it is. I <laughs> <He> just <laughs> I, I you know how some people build chips in a bottle? I've built a box yeah. of matches in this bottle. <laughs> Why? This is just his his innovative storage solution. It's pretty impressive. He thought one day someone would make it through all of the puzzles and would get into his wine cellar, and he didn't want anyone stealing his wine, so he <laughs> duped it with gunpowder and sand. Oh! I'm looking at every cork now. What did I just pick up? 
that was definitely that's a, a brush, brush i guess okay that was just invisible that definitely was invisible okay thank you alex alex is our man from the future okay okay God, we've looked at this so Maybe many times. Maybe you're going to make a homecoming float later and you need a brush and a sash. <laughs> <laughs> yes. The theme is hungry like the wolf. Watson, <laughs> get me paper mache. Okay. Oh. I can't even see where those corks are on my screen. Maybe my screen is too light. No? Um, you might be going Yeah, down. that's nice. It's, it's too heavy to be moved. Okay, so what would you have to paintbrush? You could like, you could move dust away from something. I could do some or light, you light could... archaeology. You know what? What if I? Uh -huh. What about this? What if there? If the key is on here, and I have to brush away the sand you... to see how to do it. Like the top. Yeah, try it. Let's live in the moment of thinking that's correct before we find out it isn't. Let's just the moment what? of possibility. Isn't it gonna be great? I bet... I... I, be I believe in it. It's gonna happen. All right. Oh. Brush, brush, brush. It seems to be number three. <laughs> okay. It seems to be number three. Now, would that be third from the top or bottom or left or right? Maybe it's every third, but it doesn't tell us where to start. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. One, two, three. One. Oh, two, not the way I three. thought. One, two, three. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. I was going to start there, the bottom left, and go every third. Okay. One, two, three. One, yeah. two, three. One, Great job. two, three. One, Perfect. two, three. I don't know whether to count this one or not. Me one, neither. two, three. One, two, three that let's try again is, is it an is, okay is, 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 is it an exit okay let's try this way one two three 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 sort of like a waltz let's try again one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. That's a Peter Pan for you. Um, we press every stone while Yeah, start. try that. One, two. <laughs> okay, three. now do do every third from starting from there, but skip again. the headstone. Okay. One, two, three. 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 Okay. Let's try again. Uh, one, two, three. 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 Let's try again. Let's try again. So. Is it an exit? Maybe the three has nothing to do with the stones, although that seems odd. It does seem odd. You would think it would. What about um? Oh, our paintbrush. Or maybe is gone. we're finding, maybe we're finding clues out of order. So maybe that three is going to come in handy later. It's possible, although you would think it has something to do with the stones. It also could be that this is a third door and there are two other doors, but that doesn't seem necessarily true. Oh, and we we have to go through the third door. No, I, well, I don't know. I was thinking bag of gunpowder mutually assured destroy. Have you tried time? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that that's definitely possible. What about we start with one? So one, two, three. Let's try again. 
Yeah, I thought it was a five too, but I think he says it's a three. Is that right? He said three. I forget. I always forget we have these notes. We can actually Let's look. Let's try again. Uh, not this. Uh, it seems, it seems to be to a be number three. three. Oh, it's like a transcript of their conversation. That's handy that he just carries that around <laughs> in his pocket. Uh, it's a transcript of his own inner thoughts. <laughs> Let's try again. Well, now that we know to touch all the barrels, we can get more, I guess. Yeah, touch all those barrels. <sighs> well, it's three, though, Arnie. He says three. It's too heavy to be moved. So... Unless, unless it's such a tricky puzzle that they want to tell us it looks like three, but we have to figure out that it's not. Yeah, exactly. Um, or maybe you have to hit three stones, and we have yet to pick which three stones it is. Possible. Maybe he's dumb. Yep. Hmm. Maybe you have to knock three times. Is it an exit? Is it an exit? Is it an exit? Let's try again. What if I threw this bag of gunpowder somewhere? There doesn't seem to be anywhere to throw it, because, like, I don't... These aren't interaction points. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Gosh, this stuff is invisible. Is it... A, is it... Is it, is it an exit? So... We used the paintbrush and now it's gone, right? Yeah, the paintbrush seems to be gone. We have a bag of gunpowder that we didn't have before. Last time we carried around explosive things in our pockets, we we <laughs> a desk <laughs> exploded us. <laughs> um, that, that, it wasn't the fault of the wine. <laughs> yeah, he should really recycle that paintbrush. That could end up in the ocean. It's too heavy to be moved. It's, it's too yeah, heavy sure. to be moved. It's too heavy to be moved. Hmm. See, I thought we were for sure we were going to explode our way through that door, but now it seems that... I don't know how the pushing the stones and the explosion work together. Yeah, uh, right. Well, I don't know if they... Um, maybe the, the explosive is for the next room? You know? Yeah. Uh, okay, can no longer... Well, I can point at this, but I can't interact with it. Incantation. Oh, so, okay, that's interesting. So that paintbrush was all, so all we can do in the store now is push stones. Yeah, well, right. I, I mean, it's still the it's still the interaction icon, but I doesn't do anything anymore, so I assume we're done. Yeah. Doesn't make a sound or say anything. You know what, let's try everything on it, just to be sure that we've been thorough. Elizabeth, are you there? Elizabeth? <laughs> Elizabeth, it's me, Sherlock Holmes. Your cousin? Ah, 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 ah. I like the idea that every time Sherlock gets that out, he's like ready <laughs> to fight. <laughs> Pain don't hurt. I'm Dalton from Roadhouse for Halloween. <laughs> Clicking off the screen because of this mouse. Is it an exit? Is, 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 is it an exit? Okay. It's gotta be a pattern. Is it an exit? Is it an axe hat? Elizabeth, is it an exit? <laughs> Three. Thoughts? Wh <laughs> <laughs> what if it's upside down? Uh and it's an E. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what if, um, what's a three in mummy language? Do we have to translate it? Of course. Now I feel like an idiot. <laughs> it's, uh. Are, are mummies on metric or, em or empirical? <laughs> <laughs> I guess. I mean, I think they're on, like, biblical. I feel like. 
Uh, true. Forty stone. Let's try a game. Mm. Let's try a game. Okay, three. All right, so three. Okay, you know what? We we wrap. We rallied and we found a paintbrush. What else can we find? All right. Let's Maybe we're missing something. We need some kind of match to make an explosive. But maybe that's we haven't gotten to that part yet. We need three of something. <laughs> we need. Do you think we need to make three offerings to the door? Is that what you're suggesting? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. I feel like I'm looking for something that's in an arch form that has like three dots on it, and it'll tell us which stones to use. Yeah, I feel like Anna, if that was the thing, it would have like given us a book that said that, you know, that said, here's what a six looks like in Egypt. What's in our notes? Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, it says here it's a six. Mummy three. Maybe we had to go get Rachel Weiss and convince her to be in Mummy three. <laughs> He's not going to do it. <laughs> her mistake. Uh... Um. Okay. Don't disturb the pharaohs. Mm -hmm. I don't think we have anything that has any numbers. There was that one with a picture. Yeah, that's the one I was thinking. Yeah. That kind of looks like an arch, and the head is the three. I mean, you know. Sure. There's not a three. Um, but that doesn't tell us anything. Uh, I disagree. Three. Three. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Three, then. Yes. Good. Good. Just as I planned. <laughs> what could you pick up that would, like, tell us those rock shapes? Like, are we looking for a piece of paper or a book? Or an artifact? I guess. I think uh, some kind of information seems like what we need, not rather than an object. Yeah. To me. Because there's a pattern we don't know. Yeah. We picked up that gear a while ago. Maybe we need to use that. We haven't used it yet. Yeah. Anything else have a number? Not that I know of. I don't think I've seen any numbers in this subset of areas. Now, we have one that says Elizabeth, and if you turn the three backwards, it's an E. Yes, yes. Elizabeth's favorite thing was mummies. Uh -huh. We're in, e in Egypt. I solved it. <laughs> Uh, we have a dead body. Can we just fill it up with powder keg and see what happens? Let's do it. Poor Pake, about... I blew him up. <laughs> Can you, like, take his shoes or something weird? Yeah, I was trying that, honestly. <laughs> There's yeah, nothing... just blow something up. Yeah. There's nothing that I know of in the environment that we can touch. Yeah, but... that's the hard thing. And we haven't found a view yet where, where we're looking at something, but don't know why. Does that make sense? Like, right. it's not like you can stop in front of one of those walls. Right. The closest thing we have to that is uh, there are a lot of points. I mean, maybe it was that paintbrush we just, or the, um, the, the explosives. But there's a lot of points here that seem weird. Like, we just entered here, right? Yeah. And then we go, okay, I want to go forward. Well, we don't go all the way forward. We're stuck sort of in the middle. Now, I think that was because we needed to find this, right? 
Was that the powder keg? Yes. So we found that. Uh-huh. And then we go forward again. No, we're still not to the door. We still, we have, like, we can mess with this this table, which we may have found something on. Um, something under the table, perhaps? perhaps. Uh, yeah. You're right. Maybe there's something in this view. There was something under What'd you say? We've been tricked by something hide or, hiding under a table before. Yes, which was so ridiculous. Because I thought of that. We looked under that table. Is this a... Yeah. Is that a pile of bottles? I can't quite tell from my view. Uh, yes, this is a pile of wine bottles. I assume that's wine on the floor. These these were all the the shelving units that fell over when, they, when the explosion happened. Oh, I see. Do we need to lap up some wine somehow? I mean, I'd love... I'd love it at this point. Why? Why three? Oh, three hundred dollars. I see. <laughs> okay, now I get it. Took me a while, but I pieced it together. Three. Wait, did you get? Did you get the joke about a ten percent bath? Yeah, I thought it was pretty great. Um. Okay, really, t Ryan? Hey, Ryan, take a breath and really investigate this room. Okay. Really, really just go slow. Wait for the little hand to become a Barbie hand. You're going too fast. I feel like I just did Look this. Look for that Barbie. Okay. All right. Focus on the Barbie hand. Let's, let's go all the way back if we're going to do that. All right. This is as yeah. far back as we can go. Okay. Uh huh. The glass or something in the sand. It's going to be something that we can't see. Right. So go so look I'm at all the places the that where it looks like there's nothing. Good point. What is that box thing? Oh, that's the chessboard that we that started this whole conundrum. That okay. started this whole boondoggle. Do you think he got all the sand shipped in? <laughs> yeah. I mean, there seems to be a mummy tomb under his house in England, and we haven't really explained how that's possible. Yeah. Someone has to know about it. I mean, some guy delivered it. Hey, I got 30 tons of sands for you. <laughs> yeah, it really is, like, impossible to see some of these clues, uh, Arnie. There must be something we're missing that we haven't picked up yet. Three o'clock. That's interesting. That's good. Uh, that's worth <laughs> trying. Can you turn this little guy? Which down here? Yeah. I'm not even sure what we're standing on. Like, are we standing on a ceiling fan? Like, that isn't... Yeah, no idea. Yeah. It's like a brace or something. Yeah. A trust. A trust? A trust? A trust. I don't know. It's got a lot of moss growing. It's hard to keep out the damp, you know, That's in your thing. mummy tomb. That's the thing. What's the deal with this guy? Like, all we took was the little uh, gear from deal? him, right? Yeah. Uh, What's yeah. The deal with m robot mummy. Well, the gear was even the gear was actually on the ground, if I recall. 
Mm. I mean, it's implied that it came out of him, but he didn't actually give us anything. Mm. That's rude. I know. We came all the way, all this way. Yeah. Ryan, if you had a giant house, would you buy, would you make a wine cellar? Um, I like the idea of a wine cellar. I don't drink much wine. I don't so, either. Probably not. I would use that for something would you else. Make a, would you make a mummy room? Yeah, definitely a mummy room. There'd be a mummy and you get close to the wall and then I would be able to like go behind a different room and put my hands into the mummy's <laughs> hands and be like, Wah! and grab you. <laughs> That's like... a great idea. <laughs> right? have you been thinking about a mummy room? Thinking... Have you been like, you have a Pinterest board that's about your, your ideal mummy room? I've been thinking a lot about this mummy room. <laughs> Arnie knows me too well. Baja Blast Cellar. <laughs> yeah. First of all, the my favorite Mountain Dew is Mountain Dew Code Red. Let's not get it twisted over here. I feel like if I had a basement that already looked like a creepy dungeon with like moss covered stone like what do you do except make a wine cellar make a creepy make like a scientist lab i guess you could sort of brew your own small batch whiskey or something i mean it doesn't really need to be damp yeah. or anything, but that might be something you could try to do i mean if you have a two-story creepy basement then it behooves you to make some kind of like log ride or something. Like make some kind of like water feature that you could hop on. Now, how many flume rides have been in basements <laughs> that you remember? But think about the Haunted Mansion, except it's water. Wouldn't that be fun? You know, you need a little bit of open air for a water ride. If it's all in a weird like sewer, then it just feels like your, the water has got to be gross. Tell that to the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Ryan. I will tell it to them that's what you would do you'd make a you'd make a turtle power room that's true it'd be like splinter would be there when i was and it would uh, be, you'd go and eat pizza when i was eight i want i almost got permission from mom and dad to paint my room like like a sewer like to paint on the walls to make it like a turtle hideout <laughs> how have i never heard this story before i sketched it out i was like i think it should be like this and they were like, maybe. <laughs> I think ultimately it was kiboshed. Mm. Okay, I trust that you've done a good sweep. Oh, now do you trust me? Yeah, there is a water side that does that, isn't there? But what is it? I can't remember. I don't know. I think um, Splash Mountain, you're sort of in the dark. Well, there's dark bit. parts of Splash Mountain, that's true. But not the, not the, you know. You could make, what's that Jurassic Park one? That one would be fun. That was fun. Remember how mom got water shot in her ear or something? <laughs> yeah, a dinosaur spit at her. The only place she didn't want water. Uh, all right. Ch three o'clock. I like three o'clock. Let's try this, this triangle now. I, I sort of know if I can reset this and see without going out. Hmm. Let's try again. What's the o'clock in your mind for three o'clock? Uh, I guess it would be here, right? Yeah, but no. What's oh? I see. I was thinking there would be a second one for the well, other hand. I, I assume that's the top, right? Yeah. Let's try again. Let's try again. Maybe you push, maybe you push down all everyone but the third. Like one goes down, two goes down, skip three. Okay. One goes down, two goes down, skip. Okay. One, two, skip. One, two, skip. One, two, skip. Then I can't do this one. One, two, skip. One, two, skip. One, two, skip. One. Let's try again. Or if I consider this part of it, and we go 
One, two, skip. One, two, skip. One, two, skip. Nothing to skip. One, two, skip. One, two, skip. One, two. Now? Let's try again. No, right, well, we tried it. Yeah, no, it's a good idea as any. Oh, you know what? Well, I guess I, I, the fact that I have my inventory is kind of interesting, but I guess I needed it for the paintbrush. I wonder if it's still applicable. Hmm. Hmm. We're assuming three is what gets us through the store. It could be totally unrelated. Yeah, but it would be kind of weird that it would be on the door and a secret, but not have to do with the door. Oh, do you think this game usually makes sense, Ryan? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And this is still better than searching for that rag. I'm sorry. Let's try again. <laughs> we haven't gotten to rag levels yet. At least yet. we have a piece. When I couldn't put down that chair. <laughs> well, you know why you hated that rag is because there was a timer. Yes, that's right. I can stand here and think about this three all I want. Hmm. Alex is giving me ellipses, which means he's looked it up. Yeah. Can you give us a hint without giving us a hint? You know what I mean? Can you just like Let's ask this. Nudge us? Is there something we need inventory wise that we don't have? Oh, good question. Hey Ryan, that was a great question. I don't need your pity. You have everything the game will give you for this puzzle. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Let's try again. Uh, okay. And so we let's see. Can we push um I think we can push stuff while we're holding this, but I don't think it does anything. Like it doesn't give us that it doesn't give us that interaction thing. Yeah. The little exit. wrench. Let's try again. Um clear as to whether things can be pushed twice. It just sort of breaks the image. Yeah. Let's try again. Maybe you maybe you were looking at the center and you do every third one going like this way and then every third one going this way. Try that. Start from the center and go left and go out. Okay, yes. so okay, okay. So is it this is one then? No, let's say that's not that's one. That's not one. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Whoop. Three. All okay. right. Let's try again. We could, okay. could try counting that as one. Yeah. One, two. Oop, no. That's wrong. Let's try again. Ryan. <sighs> you know. The mouse <laughs> is just really loving me today. It's all golden. One, two, three. 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 Nope. God damn, son of a bitch. <laughs> three. Okay. Let's try again. Oh. Three. <laughs> I hate you so much. Um, what about multiples of three? No, that's the same. Uh, what about? Let's try again. Stars here. Hi. What about three? Can you push them more than once? Maybe you push them all Let's try again. three times. I don't think so. I don't know. Like, if I click this, you hear that, right? You hear that little sound? I don't quite, but I believe you. 
Well, there's a little sound. And I oh, can't... I do hear it now. I do hear it now. I turned it up. Oh, well, I guess I do hear it again. But it doesn't seem to be doing anything. Uh, Stud, we're... We uncovered this three clue. But that's about it. We're trying to figure out how to get through Let's this door. I don't know what you mean, literally nothing. So much riveting content has happened. I tested my microphone. <laughs> Ryan decided he would have a code red wine cellar. <laughs> we found a paintbrush and then used it to uncover a three. Yeah. It's been a laugh a minute. Um, we got gunpowder and put it in a purse. We did get gunpowder. We have a gunpowder full of purse. Uh, three. Three, tree, we. <laughs> okay. Three. <laughs> okay, I'm starting to think that maybe <laughs> we're hitting a wall. Uh, we have indeed tried clicking. Uh, we tried clicking every rock. third rock, going clockwise and counterclockwise. We tried not clicking every third rock, going clockwise and counterclockwise. We've also tried both those things including that third stone and not including the third stone. Mm -hmm. We also tried <laughs> using three o'clock. Uh, we also did technically try dying twice. We did. I still think you can solve this problem with explosives. Yeah, I mean, it does seem like it wants us to explode something. These have to move for a reason, though. Unless it's a red herring, but I'm not sure that this game is that smart. It's confusing, but it's not smart. Do we have to die one more time so it's our third death? <laughs> Three deaths! Um, and then I'll be immortal, Watson! We did knock three times on the ceiling to see if it, uh, we loved it. <laughs> Twice on the pipe. It's the answer's no. Yes, that we have tried all those things. Is it an exit? Is it an exit? We have determined that this might be an exit. Is it an exit? Also, he keeps saying, let's try again, which makes it sound like we're resetting a puzzle that we need to solve. Yeah. Three. We know that we know that's a three because he said it was a three. We have an Elizabeth sash, and I feel like Is that something we got to use at some point. That's gonna be something. We did. Uh, we did a real slow sweep of every room. I made Ryan really take a breath and focus. Yeah. <laughs> he turned down the volume so that he wasn't yelling at the computer. I got really upset. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't. You know, I, we did find some stuff. Let's try we found again. that that explosives and the paintbrush on a on a third or fourth try but we've done a, many sweeps at this point that's just like a classic michael's run you know oh like i need explosives I and a paintbrush like paint crush explosives mm -hmm. maybe some hot glue yeah out of glitter we tried investigating well Mm. I don't know that I'm an expert at that. So far, our powers of deduction cannot even deduce whether that's an exit or not. <laughs> Is this an exit? <laughs> He's sort of mad about it, too. I hate exits! <laughs> Stay where you are, that's what I say. I'm Sherlock Holmes. You are you are helping, Arnie. You're doing so good. Definitely. Hmm... Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine on this side. One, two, three, four. That's true. Five, we we've six, sort of done the Einstein. Ten. Or who is it? Edison, I guess, theory where we're just we've just discovered all the ways it didn't work. Yeah, that's how a light bulb gets made. Mm. So this is ten ten stones to the right of the keystone and nine stones to the left, if that means anything. It helps in the dance I'm working on. Uh, 
Now, it's the <laughs> pelvic thrust that drives me insane. <laughs> so it's 19 altogether. Oh, plus the keystone is 20. 20, including the keystone. Conveniently not divisible by three. Um... Oh, yeah. Ryan, did you think about doing a musical number? Ah, uh, ba da ba da ba ba Well, <laughs> Sherlock Holmes is the place to be. You don't uh, have any canes and hats right now, though, so... I know. We used to. We were well equipped for this earlier. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, Stott, I think you are. I think so, too. Let's try again. All right. Is it time to ask Alex to give us a small hint? Okay, Alex. Alex told us that we have everything we need to solve it, though, and that yeah, really... Yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. You're it's right. inspired that's a, that's me. Enough. Three. <laughs> we need a third hint. <laughs> that's true, I've not really been happy with any solution in this game. What did we do? There was one... The sliding puzzles were fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because yeah. you're really good at them, and you did them in like a second, right? Um. Uh, thank you. My, we looked at the notes, Stod. I don't think there's anything relevant to this. There's not a note that says like three actually means five in all in all stonework puzzles. Let's look again. Cause I wouldn't put it past it. Let's try again. Let's go all the way back. Actually, this is the one we got here. The mummy exists. I have three exclamation points. I have seen it with my eyes. I can't understand what it is doing in my father's house, of course. Obviously. It looks like it knows everything here, even me. I have never been aware of all the hidden places which are here. Hidden places. It is very dangerous. See, that's... Even me feels like a comma, like it's the beginning of that sentence, which is even more confusing. Oh, I see. You're right. Yeah, it does look like that. Uh, it is dangerous. I fear to approach it. There is really some mystery here. Anyway, I can't believe that it is several thousand years old. However. Hmm. Okay. Here's our first note. We've read this a million times. Yeah. That one has a pretty rose on it, I just noticed. Yeah, it's nice stationery. But that one doesn't. Is it a forgery? <laughs> it could be. Parky could be writing all these. Um. Okay. Mm-hmm. She's 18. Okay. 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 Is this 11? Yeah, he was Bumpus the 11. Yeah. Zobers! I know it's robbers, but it looks like Zobers. Oh, there's a bunch of Zobers around here! 1893, yeah, the year of all those articles. Yeah. Oh. Oh, we did this before, that's right. This was yeah, the Yeah, we had to put them in order yeah yeah hey don't forget no one's immortal bye <laughs> that's how i send my emails to <laughs> butler former quit. butler i gotta remember that next time i quit a job i'm gonna sign it your former employee your to really rub former it in. butler Were there any notes we found that we didn't or couldn't take? Not that I know of, Stud. Especially now we can't go back if there are. But I think we were very thorough with that one room that had all the notes. These are just years of when things were found. Mm-hmm. We already did stuff with this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Dr. 
Snuggles. Dr. Snuggles. Mm. That's for the laudanum. Maybe we have to take three laudanums. I'm about to. It's triangle. <laughs> Nomi exists! We haven't used this guy yet. No, not this really. Oh, Anubis, son of Set, dweller in the mummy chamber, governor of the divine house. You got of the dead. He was a giant of battle. Where's the time to Yeah, I mean, I mean, there's a lot of notes we didn't really. They were just sort of flavor. This could yeah, be one of you're them. You're right. I mean, this does look like an arch. You said it before, but I don't know how this would yeah. fly. I agree. And that's it. <laughs> Thanks, Ty. <laughs> okay, hmm. three. There's only so many. I mean, we tried all the three combinations, right? There's only so many. So we have to think of this in a different way. Right. Gotta think outside the three. Maybe that's, that's, um, that's a number, like, this is stone number three. Like, maybe it's like one, two, three. If that yeah. does something, you know? I don't know why that would be helpful, but. Okay, so if we start, if that's number three, that means two over is number one. Mm -hmm. So let's start there and hit every third one. And like this? Yeah. So, no, don't hit that, don't hit that one. So it's as if you hit the headstone that says three. I'm not explaining it very well, but do you know so what I mean? Don't hit so, this one. Yeah, don't hit. But then I, there, three would be this one. I can't hit that. Right. That's okay. Now keep going. One, two, three. Hit this one. No. Nope. Uh, oh yes, yes. You hit that one. So wait. One, two, three. Nothing. Uh huh. One, two, three. Oh shit. Uh huh. Oh. Let's try again. Would it be acceptable to ask Alex how much the answer requires more than what we see on this screen? Well, I think that's fine to ask. Although, uh, I we've tried this stuff on everything, and he already says we have the inventory we need, so I think we kind of already know it doesn't. But maybe we're missing something. Oh, this mouse. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah. One, two, three. And then keep going. Oh. Keep going starting there. Three, okay. One, two, three over here? Yeah. One, two, three. One, two, three. Well, it does even out. We're back to one. Yeah. I thought it was telling us, like, it was aligning us. Yeah. No, you know I, I mean, like, that's yeah. the third one, so you know where to start. No, I'm with you. Let's try again. Stad says wait. Stad has some... St Stott, all the stones can be pressed except for the keystone at the top. Do you have to click all the stones in order three at a time? I, we tried that, I think. We can try again. Starting oh, wait, with the three keystone. at a time? Yeah. Uh, okay, we'll go clockwise. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. I don't want to do this. If this is right, I don't want to finish <laughs> the puzzle. Two, three. Wait! One, two, three. Oh, that's not what I thought. No, not yeah, like that. Yeah, that's not what I thought he was saying. I was thinking you push them down in groups of three, like uh, how three I... go down. Oh, I can't push. Three stay up. Three go down. Three stay up. Start of the keystone. Count three, then click. No, we did that. You mean like one, two, three, click. One, two, three, click. We did that already. You're saying push three down. I can't do it at once, but I can push three down. Push three, skip three. Yeah. Keep doing that until I don't you click know. all the stones. They may not work. Oh, like you keep... Okay, well, okay, so one, two, three, one, two, three, like this. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, nothing. So now we're back to one, 
three. So one, two, three, 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 Okay, Alex, give us a small hint. A, a baby mummy-sized hint. Like you would give to a small mummy child. Yeah. Spin in circles three times. Let's try again. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> the hills are alive! <laughs> Alex, Alex said he started giving hints then left. We deserve it. <laughs> um, Alex is thinking. What could it be? You weren't thorough in your every third stone trials. Okay, let's try it again. How One. dare you? <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three. Wait, you know what we didn't do maybe is start by pushing the first one down. I think we did, but I'll try it again. So you mean like one, okay. two, yeah. three, one? Yeah. Two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. Okay. Let's try again. Let's try one. Two, three, one, two, three, one, three, nothing, two, three, one, two, three, one, one. Okay. Let's try again. It feels weird that we have to skip that stone. I agree. So maybe that is the third one. Because that at least evened us out, right? So that's number one, yeah. Well, two, we, three. We can't click the third stone if we do it that way, which feels weirder to me. If you can't press the yeah. three, I imagine the answer naturally skips it. You're getting weird with it, says Alex. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting weird with it. Okay. One, two. Are three. we overthinking it? One, it two, feels like we tried every combination. One, two, three. Maybe don't count this then. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Let's try okay. again. One, two, three. 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 Let's try again. Okay, let's try including the keystone this time. One, two, three. 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 Three. Let's try again. Okay, now we did starting from the keystone. One, two, three. Wait, try. Oh, God. What? Never mind, keep going. Okay, one, two, three. 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 One, two. Three. One, two. Okay. Let's try again. There's only two ways you could do every third and not hit the keystone. One, two, three, one, two, three, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. That's not one of them. Why? He's saying, Let's try oh. Game. We didn't hit the keystone. You're saying not count the yeah. keystone at all? I was saying, like, not have to skip it, if that makes sense. Let's um, try a game. Uh, like not, it's not interfering. But yeah. um, no, I think. Well, if we do one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, this is just one, so we don't have to hit it. Yeah. Two, three. Yeah, is maybe. that what you're talking about? Mm-hmm. 
Uh, we are always counted in a circle. Um, no, sometimes we stop because we started over here. Like, we could keep going around, but I don't think that's it. There's only two ways you can do every third and not hit the keystone. We haven't started from the bottom and worked our way to the keystone and then started at the bottom again. We haven't gone... We started the keystone and worked our way down. We haven't started down and worked our way up to the keystone. We kind of did. Like, one, two, three here, right? Mm -hmm. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then stop and go down stop. to the bottom of the other one. Oh, okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Maybe? Yeah, okay. It didn't seem to do anything. Let's try again. Now I have I I have already drank three Keystone Lights, so oh. we're we're good on that. Let's try again. It feels like it's almost too simple. We're not getting it, you know? Yeah. We yeah. we just like are forgetting one of the combination options. <laughs> you count the keystone, but don't use a version where you have to touch it. Okay. Well, I, we've tried a couple like that. Um, uh, so, like, let's go backwards again. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, three, one, two, three, two. Yeah. Is it an exit? Will you start, um, let's try again. you start second from the bottom on the left side? Here? Yeah, that's your one. Okay. Now to try. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. Can't click that one. Right, one, and two, then keep going. Three. One, two, three. Let's try again. This is a, maybe a good metaphor what develop for what developing games of Jackbox is like. You've tried a million things and nothing is working. <laughs> Let's try backwards again. One, two, three. 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 Let's try again. Let's try forwards. What am I not thinking about? Let's try a game. Yep. Yes, there is. <laughs> it worked. I'm like, what if we did this for the final round? And someone's like, let's try again, Ryan. <laughs> yeah, it's Allard. That's right. Mm -hmm. Well, we can go back crisscrossy. One, two, three. 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 One, two. Can't do that one. <laughs> I really enjoyed watching you man try to manage the crisscrossy. Yeah, that doesn't really work that well. Um. Okay, I know you've already done this, but say the bu the button after the three is one, and start there. Here. Uh huh. Okay. One, two, three, right? Yes. Okay. Hey, squirrel. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, and then go two. Yes, please. Three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Hmm. Is there a place you can start where you end at that three? There must be. Actually, you were only one off. So see the keystone, the one on the right. Ah, so I looked it up and he I'm sorry. it. The one on the right of the keystone? Yeah. Okay, one more. Here? 
Uh huh. Start there and start counting. This is one. Yes, please. One, two, three. 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 Oh, it was nice and even. Yeah, you end at the three. All right. Oh, you didn't. You didn't end at the three. No. I must have counted it wrong. I ended right before. I'm trying to get you to end at the three. So then start one more late. Then one more late. I think late we are. Then. We usually end at the three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. Oh no, we don't. We can start here, but we've done that before. That's the, you should, let me try that before. But I want it to be the last one you click. Let's try well, I don't game. want it to be that. Um, okay. There's 20 tiles, so it won't be circular. Yeah. Oh, I thought there was 19 tiles. Oh, you're counting the keystone. Yeah. Let's right. I'm aware of these facts. 19 is also not divisible by 3. Will you try one more one more for me? Will you start at the right hand corner of the top piece? This? Um, my screen's a smidge delayed and it's frozen, so hold on. I you're probably on the right one. <laughs> <laughs> um look, your internet's freaking out. You froze you froze for me. Oh no. We'll never know what you wanted yes, to do. Oh, that one. This one? Okay, this is one. Yes. One, two, three. One, yes. two, three. One, two, yep. three. They said it's not circular, but one, two, three, one, two, uh -huh. three, one, two, three. All right, mm -hmm. Stodd says I we know how to solve you're... it. Sorry, what? What, Ash? No, that was it. I just thought that was going to be it because you end the third. No. Um... <laughs> what about eating the game on a third floor window? Uh, you know how to solve it. Okay, it's not circular. Presumably we have to start and then end. I mean, how do you do it other than we could... We've tried skipping the keystone, but let's try it again. One, two, three. 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 Right? Let's try a game. If we skip the keystone, that's how you do it? Maybe we shouldn't be pushing down the three. Maybe we need to be pushing down the one. Uh, okay. One, two, three. 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 One. Let's try a game. Yeah, I feel like we're just, like, clicking something weird. How is this possible? I feel like even if we didn't know we were doing it, we would have accidentally hit the the right combination by this point. I didn't hit the keystone with that one. I know, right? Uh, okay, let's try hitting the keystone. Uh, one, two, three. 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 No, wait, I fucked that up. Let's try again. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, click, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. Let's try again. Now let's try with the keystone again. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. Whoops. Let's try again. Let's try again. One, two, three, so if I one, do the music louder for you, is this helping your concentration? Yeah, no, that's good. That's great. Sherlock I feel like I turned the music down just for this purpose, <laughs> but... No, this is not, this is not a trick. <laughs> yeah. All right, we need another clue here. What are we doing? What are we possibly doing wrong? Yeah. Hey, hey, now, hey, now I'm mad at you, game. <laughs> what are we possibly doing wrong? All right. Alex says counterclockwise. Sod also has a weird cryptic clue to try. 
Uh, okay, let's- oh god, Ashley's curse is back! <laughs> oh gosh, I wish you could see this video. Use the door knob, says I. Uh, counterclockwise. One, two, three. 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 One. One. Hey! I gotta take a second. I gotta take a second. That's not every third. <laughs> Where the fuck what am happened? I now? <laughs> oh god. Oh, Is this we're the back foyer? in the foyer again. All right, thank God. thanks guys. That one, what, hey, Arnie? You get out. <laughs> Oops. All oh, right, this was that little foyer, that little like area we couldn't. We were, yeah, we were just, we were here at the beginning. Okay. The chandelier is wow. The chandelier is wow, the guys. If someone says press every third stone, you don't press the first one. No. That's crazy. You press the third one. And you had to go counterclockwise. Whatever. Whatever. The chandelier. Everything is devastated. Everything's devastated. What's he telling you the chandelier's blocking the way? Yeah, just tell me why. I can't it go feels like the Sherlock's room. like biggest enemy is just like things in front of doors. <laughs> Like, if he just would, sh move, you know, use his two hands and get to work a little bit, he'd be fine. Watson, pick things up for me, quick. <laughs> the shit no, I don't worry. The answer to this one... <laughs> <laughs> what were you saying? Okay. Nothing. All we have to do is put in the dates backwards and subtract them. It's fine. Okay. Look at this. This got all screwed up. Let's blow something up. Oh. This paper is still smoking. This writing. If you're not afraid of the mummy, go up the stairs and touch the time. <laughs> okay. It All right, random note. I think I will. Is alive. But who was he writing to? Was the mummy trying to burn the note? <laughs> was the mummy was trying it, to it, stop it, me it, from it, getting it, alone? It, it was. It, 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 it was the mummy trying to burn the note. So he thinks Lord Metcalf's alive too. Yeah. Just like I did. I think Lord Metcalf is the mummy. Yeah. Now, why would you just like trash this place? Like this place was is structurally sound, but just been ransacked. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, we'll come back down if we get stumped here, but let's just go upstairs. Never again will Ryan be foiled by not picking something up, so he's gonna try every single thing. Oh. Oh, you know what? Thank God the earthquake unlodged this tiny red rope so we could go upstairs. Thank goodness. Okay. Whoop. Oh no, our Pantalone painting. Pantalone? <laughs> I don't know. All right, well, let's start from one end of the... Okay, Ryan, that's nice. are, you trying to, are you trying to tell us that you're afraid of the mummy and that's why you aren't going into I'm the room? I'm afraid of the mummy. <laughs> There's a groove. I'm grooving to it. <laughs> this this mummy... wall can be moved away somehow. All right, let's blast this sweet music. Oh, yeah. Okay. If we have anything that goes there just He says yet. there's a groove and it can be moved away somehow. Right. It's like a weird table. What is there? Yeah, what is happening? Yeah, say it's a joke. Oh, it's a oh, shadow. No. <laughs> we should save. Let's see. Are we in chapter five? Yeah. Please, God. Still in chapter four. We gotta touch that mummy. Who left us a note that was like, if you're not afraid, go touch a mummy? He thinks that was Moncalf. Um, I like that it's, the the uh, subtitle says, gosh, 
But he says good heavens. <laughs> Was that when they brought it over to America and they were like, let's not get religious. <laughs> Just say gosh. Locked. Locked. It doesn't look locked. It looks open. It's clearly locked. cracked open. Sherlock. Use your powers of deduction, Sherlock. Can you do one one thing correct? Also, who decorated this like upper level? Uh I don't want to admit it, but it was me. Ryan! You gotta find matches or something. I know I keep saying that, but it seems crazy that we have gunpowder, a lantern, rags, a banner. I know. Is there anything on this step? Like, this looks like... So we can't get in either door. One is like, there's a panel and it needs to be slid. And the other one is like, it's locked! <laughs> Judy, right? Judy, Judy. <laughs> one's, a, one's a panel uh, that can be opened. One is a fire behind it, so we shouldn't go in. Oh. And one is locked. Okay, I bet it's the third one. But don't start with the third one. It's secretly the first one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, you know best. Let's just leave. You know what? Forget it. Actually, can I try? Oh, he won't let me go. Mm. It was recently used. It means Lord Metcalf is alive. But whom was he writing to? He's writing to you, dummy. You're the only one in the house. Montcap, Sherlock. Yeah. Montcap. Was the mummy trying? Was the was the mummy trying to? It was recently used. Yeah. It means Lord Metcalf. No, is not Lori Metcalf, Sherlock. It's not it's Lori Metcalf. Metcalf. It's Montcap. We. I so wish it was Lori Metcalf. We all would like I to think... meet character actor Lori Metcalf. <laughs> Only, only American treasure Lori Metcalf could save this. I just feel like the pacing of this game is bonkers. It's like, you finally got out of the dungeon, uh, you know? Like, you exploded your way out of a tomb, a pharaoh's tomb, and all of a sudden you're just in a foyer and you have to get to a locked door. <laughs> yeah. The music is so sedate, too. Yeah. So I can't tell. There's a groove. Okay. There's a groove in the sense that there's a square cut out like an opening would be here, right? Yeah. But there's also this shadow totally. that looks like it's a shadow of the banister. Maybe that's all it yeah, is. Yeah, I think so too. Okay. That's true. And I think he's telling you it needs to slide. Is that what the narration says? It doesn't say anything anymore. He's saying there's a groove in. that can be moved somehow. If there's a groove in the wall, it can be moved somehow. But again... So we gotta move our groove. We gotta, we gotta move it, move it. We gotta yeah. move our groove. I don't have anything. To... We gotta groove our move. Oh, so maybe we have to go find something. Yeah, probably. But it seems odd, you would usually get the little mechanic, even if you don't have it, right? Yeah. Oh, oh wait, but you don't even have an inventory option. In that no, I, I do right here. Oh. It's possible that this door is controlled by something else. Press every third, thank you, Arnie. Mm-hmm. It's possible this door is opened with a switch somewhere that we're missing. By here. something else. Yeah. Okay. Water Ceiling. there. Oh, this is like peeling away to reveal some Egyptian stuff. Is this whole English yeah. manor from Egypt? <laughs> Why would he hide it? I don't know. Oh, heavens, this room is on fire. Gorsh! Must be destroyed in there. There's no need to go he in. is very calm about the house on fire. Yeah. 
But I guess he just climbed his way out of like a three deep cellar maze, so. <laughs> yeah, that's his fire room. It's like people have a wrapping paper room. Oh, you didn't get any ego points from looking in that mirror. I know. This is. Oh. I would say something is hidden just behind it. What's hidden is my good looks. <laughs> I need something thin to. Something's hidden just behind them. it. Something thin. I need something yeah. thin. Yeah, that bandage better do it. I need yes. thin to get it out from there. Oh. I need some. I need something uh, thin to get it out from there. All right. Now. I mean, this is bugging me because it doesn't I, even I, have I, the I need right some, icon. I need something thin to yeah. get it out from there. I need something thin to get it out from there. Yeah. He's just the man in the mirror, you know. I'm looking at the man in the mirror. Piece of paper you can pick up, or can we that use that? feather. It was recently used. It, Will it, 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 it was recently used. It means Lord Metcalf is alive. But it's just he writing to? It's just not his name. Any of those, yeah, whatever those are supposed to be. I guess his Handles? collection of PVC pipes broke. His collections of <laughs> Pipeworks brand kid toy. <laughs> I don't even his understand. Human... Huh? It looks like his human chest board also exploded. Oh, yeah, that's true. It's sad, really. I don't quite understand what is trapped back there that we're trying to get out, even. can't kind of can't see what he's referring to. Oh! No. Oh, okay. So the uh, the chandelier has um, an interaction. Light it on fire! Light explode, it on explode, fire! Explode, explode, explode! Throw that purse at it! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know you! <laughs> Elizabeth Sash? Uh, <laughs> One of these days. The lantern? Oh, maybe it's the candle? Yeah. Okay, so we did. We lit the candle. Or the lantern. Okay, thank goodness. We've been carrying that for like four rooms. I know. Just jingle jangling in our pocket, but we're trying to like leap across boiler rooms. I can't do like a... No. Whoop, whoop. Okay. Uh, this is where we came Well, now in. we have a lantern, which might come in handy. Yeah. Maybe there'll be a lantern timer. It's Ryan's favorite. It's really my favorite. Maybe now the player mm -hmm. will accept me. That's true. The way. I thought that we were going to somehow move that chandelier and get through there, but I guess no, not. No, we, we went, we already been in that room, you know what I mean? Yeah. Not that that would mean we couldn't go back, but like I think he's just trying to say why we can't go there again. Can you pick up any of those signs? We need something thin for the mirror. Yeah. Not that I can see here. Oh. Nuzzle some more statues. That's how it all began. Uh, I lit the lantern, uh, Alex. Not the gunpowder. It's not yet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was trying to nuzzle these statues. They don't like me. No. Can I hold this lit lantern up to the thing? I need something thin to get it out from there. I don't like this candle I could have used. <laughs> yeah, or that umbrella he could clearly slide behind there. So what is actually happening here? There's a mirror. This is the wallpaper. He's just telling. Yeah. Like, I don't quite get what I'm supposed to... I need something thin to get it out from there. I need right. something thin to get it out from there. Like a knife? Like a, I rather like a knife or something? Okay, let's go back upstairs and look a little more. This game has been less about puzzles and more about, like, what for? a scavenger hunt. 
You're right. <gasps> I should find the clue. I should find it's the clue. It's the third one. He's not gonna find me, the clue. He's not gonna let me play with it until I find Oh here we go. I should find the clue. You should find the clue, Sherlock. We need some kind of clue with three things. Yeah, maybe that clue's behind the uh, painting. It's the third one, which means the first one. I'm still mad. Okay, so now we've got Locked. a slidey panel door, a door that's on fire. A set of levers. Mm -hmm. And something trapped behind a mirror. Is that right? Yes. Uh, we don't... It's unlikely that we'll need the fire room. Because he's like, I have no reason to go in there. He's trying to tell us not to, not to think about it. I'm pretty sure. Oh, is that locked room separate from the fire room? Yes. Ah, so we also have a locked door. We also have a locked door that is clearly not... I bet whatever's behind the mirror is going to tell us how to pull the levers, and the levers is going to move are going to move the panel. I don't know about the locked door. Yeah, I think you're right. Uh, I think that's where the clue is. I don't know how to get it out. Uh, I no longer want it. We're all looking to you for answers. <laughs> I thought we all thought this was a webinar about how to play this game. <laughs> I have a notebook out. I've been taking diligent notes. What if I could, what if I told you that you could be an investigator? <laughs> well, you can. I now, tell, find the clue. tell us you're going to play the game, play the game, and then tell us that you played the game. <laughs> <laughs> one, two, three. One, two, three. Fish and chips and vinegar. 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 Pepper, 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 salt. <laughs> Don't chuck your muck in my backyard. <laughs> Something thin. Mm. Not me after Christmas, am I right? <laughs> yeah, he's really shaming whatever this is. Alex has created all the, the solutions. Yeah, it's easy as that. I know. I mean, oh. Always the same. Ah! And this gray hair. Does it belong to the mummy? <laughs> this gray hair belongs to the mummy. Oh, and a gray mummy. hair. This is a tuft of hair. He has cancer. Yeah. Is he okay? I mean, he's clearly not. He's Lord Metcalf. He's Lord Montcalf. I don't know what he's doing. He's coming and going. Hmm. Oh, they're tiles. Can you pick up any of those tiles? Those would be thin you could put behind a mirror. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to say it. This guy does have a lot of Egyptian artifacts, you know? <laughs> it's like a real Phyllis museum. Really <laughs> She looked really surprised by it, and now I see it. I mean, he did have, in theory, a fully functioning Egyptian tomb in his basement, but we just didn't feel it necessary to investigate that. But Sherlock had a lot of comments about that one thing that wasn't ancient. I need yeah. Something thin to get it out Embarrassing. I need something thin to get it out from there. I blow the shit out of it. I need something thin to get it out from there. Come on, Elizabeth. I, I, I need something thin to get it out from there. 
I need something did you try the mummy bandage? I, need I think you did already. You okay. tried everything. Yeah, just making sure. I need something yeah. thin but this, again, this doesn't have an interaction thing. It's It's got an investigation thing. So is there another thing I'm supposed to, like... Is there another section I'm supposed to be touching? I need something I don't know. thin to get it. out from there. Oh, I see what you mean. I don't see what it's trying to get out, like you said, so I couldn't even know where to point you. Yeah. What about the rug? That's thin. Look at this guy's got 17 rugs. Yeah. You only it's, need the listen, one rug. Dude. Nobody even ever it's sits here. It's the it hallway. Is alive. This is for the butler, it's if that. Too. Yeah. He quit. What about all those tiny little piano keys? I mean, it would be this exact game style for them all to be just window dressing except the one I'm supposed to pick up. Yep. Chandelier crystals. Oh, yeah, probably. Well, they might be thin then. Oh, I think you're right. Or maybe like candlesticks? Yeah, candlesticks. Oh, what about that cord? Oh, where? Oh, it's not a cord. If you turn around. Turn around, Ryan. Go back and I find the cord. Oh, it's not a cord. It's a um, coat rack. Oh, yeah. This was like one of those things that was on the side of the banister. It is a good time to look at the ceiling. All right, Alex. Uh... Every now and then I fall apart. <laughs> What about that big plank of wood? Carry that over to the mirror. This is thin. What about the plant? Is this helping? I'm just gonna name things I see that are just thin. Just name things in the room. It's not hurting. A piece of wallpaper. Hmm. Yeah, I pick up a many uh, many of the assortment of rugs. Yeah. I'm glad who's ever trying to kill us slash kill someone else slash complete some kind of mummy curse hoax is really patient with us and lets us really work our way through every room. Right, Moncap is dressed literally dressed as a mummy hiding behind a <laughs> painting, and he's like, "What is he? Come on!" <laughs> he left. Clearly left a note that said, come and get me. Left a bandage and a fake beard. <laughs> yeah, exactly. This is basically a highlights. Uh, yeah. Now, Alex reminds us that we just lit this lamp. Uh, although I don't know where to put that, if anywhere. The chandelier is blocking the way. The chandelier, the chandelier is blocking the way. Um, we can go back to where we just were. We can't go over here to this is a different area of the game. We can go back to this fucking cursed room if we want to. Um. Now, can you pick up that fork? Yes. Now that I've learned how to leave, I feel comfortable picking up the fork. That's thin. Uh, we could try using the, the lantern in here somewhere, but I don't see a a spot for it. It's too heavy to be moved. Uh, no, I can't spend one more second. I know, in right? Room, Ryan. <laughs> I can't. In your inventory, can you combine the lantern and the sack of gunpowder? No. Other candles to be lit with the lantern? Um, I'll look. I'm 
keeping an eye out, but... Uh... Go back to the levers. Levers. Lever levers. We probably, levers. we probably could brute force this. Yeah, just guess it. <laughs> oh, that's smart, Ryan. Yeah. Not smart enough. I should find the clue. I feel Can bad if I didn't just find the clue. What? Can they go down as well as up? Uh, up what? The lovers. Oh, sorry. oh, oh, oh. Um, no. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes. That was weird. It's, they, the place to click was not marked. So there's three spots yeah. for each of them. Do the, do the levers affect the gear room? Are you talking about way back... Uh, the where we were standing over the thing? I feel like we would have a sound effect if something had moved, but... Yeah. Coke's room. Yeah, the pit room. I feel like those lovers are going to slide that door. Yeah. I... But I've been wrong before. No, I think that's right. Sta just wants this game to be so there has over. To be some... <laughs> there has to be something else in this room to pick up. There has to be. Yeah, right. I mean, there has to be. We have to slide something back there to what pick up that, that dumb thing. What pipe? Uh, oh, at wait, your wait, wait. Did I get something? Yeah, you had something for a second. Did you see that? Yeah. Look farther down again? Yeah. Yeah, the red cable or that <laughs> piece of. I'm glad it's done. <laughs> Good. What show are you working on, Stock? Can you, oh, can you say? A hairpin. I didn't see this woman <laughs> shrink fuck? when I came to the hall the first time. A hairpin? This game literally asked us to find, like, a needle in a haystack. Okay. Also, a hairpin to get something out from behind a mirror? Unless the hairpin's gonna pick the locked door. This is an absolutely dreadful oh. document, but I have to examine it closer. It only shows up after the lantern is lit? Is that true, Alex? Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. I'm angry. All right. I don't even know what I picked up. It's an absolutely ridiculous document, but you have to examine it anyway. Oh, here we go. Dirty paper. <laughs> well, I don't know what you uh, want okay. me to see here. There's clearly a, a blood handprint on it. Can I use this to examine it closely? <laughs> Burn it. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, I found a sweet paper. Burn it. I hate it. <laughs> I can't believe this game made us go find a paper and then we don't even get to look at the paper. It's, it's just a, like, now you have a paper in your pocket. It's a terrible paper. I hate it. Do, you, do this. Use it here. <laughs> this does have a... Ooh! Oh, that's fun, cool. Stod. Oh, I think I saw you tweet about that. Is that the same thing? I definitely have to see that. <laughs> Give it to Elizabeth. Elizabeth, I love you. Here's to Elizabeth, your your queen of the dirty paper. Yeah. <laughs> uh. How dare the goal of that of this game to not th that that paper was just a dirty paper. We had to pick up an invisible hat pin and somehow <laughs> shove it behind a mirror we can't see ourselves in. Just to find a dirty piece of paper we can't even look at. 
And it's also like, he's like, I got to examine this closely, but it's for some reason the only piece of paper that isn't in our notes file. Yeah. Oh, there we yeah. go. I thought so. Oh, it's invisible ink? Well, it was either that or we had to just hold it closer to the light. But I have a lantern! Okay, so... Oh, what does this mean? All right, well, let's make a little note. Up. Up, up. Ryan, uh, clearly I have it memorized. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's never been a problem, but just in case... Yeah, no, this is easy. Arrow, 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 arrow. Got it. I don't know what this means, though. Oh, but it's telling you us to read right from left. That's one of the arrows. It was? Yeah. Yeah, now who did, yeah. now oh. who would then memorize it? I've also lost it. Is it in here now? Yeah, there we go. You think that means, like, left to right? I think so. I don't know. Well. I think just looking at a one has to go up in one position. One has to go up, up in the top, at most top position, and the other one has to go up. In, I think. All right, hold on. So. It says it starts out down, down, down. Oh, I was not reading it that way, but you're right. And then up. And then up, right? And then up, yeah. up. Oh, it went green. God, I hope that's it. I don't want to mess with this anymore. Yeah, I think it opened. Yay. Oh, hey, all right. What a <gasps> slaughter. I think this game thinks that this is paying off because we're going back to all the same locations, but it's not. No, they don't deserve it. Also, the mummy apparently just went around and gingerly took each painting off and then just put it right in the ground, <laughs> leaned it against, like, remember where this goes. Yeah, because it's Lord Moncap, so he's like, this is still my house. Yeah. Uh, thanks for reminding us, Todd, to save. I keep clicking. Oh, okay, I guess, is that where we're coming from or behind this painting? Yeah, I think oh. so. <gasps> that was an Being here is very dangerous. I'll check other rooms. I'll just check some other rooms instead. <laughs> I was gonna check that room. I decided to check some other rooms. Didn't we already know that place was on fire? Like of all the cutscenes. I will take these hooks too. Yeah, I'll memorize this one too, don't worry. Yeah, can you memorize this? <laughs> yeah. No problem. All right, you just memorize it. Got it all memorized all right. almost. Good, keep memorizing almost. it. It is nice of the fire to stay in there, that's right. <laughs> okay, you done memorizing? <laughs> almost done memorizing it. Just getting the last bit of memorizing done. Do Got it. Dooley Colic. F U. <laughs> Hang Sign down your Sherlock. head, Tom Dooley. Hang down your head. Time daily. <laughs> yeah, it's something like that, Anne. It's some kind of cipher, right? Yeah, I think so, right? Okay, let's see if there's fire in this room. Lock. LOCKED! Oh. Egypt! Hey! Egypt, Egypt will help you! Egypt will help you! The whole time the key has been Egypt! He likes Egypt! Remember? <laughs> Egypt. Oh! I still don't understand, Ryan. If you kind of look at everything through the lens of Egypt, I feel like you'll figure <laughs> it out. I just feel like I need a bigger clue, but okay. 
Uh, might be hey, the Ryan, word can you Egypt. go back to that one? Because I didn't get to read Let it all. Let me get it over here. here let's, there you go. Let's see. <laughs> da, 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 oh, wait. Da, 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 da. Egypt! I, mean, I just want to memorize. <laughs> I'm just going to memorize that one, too. Well done. Stud says three gypped. <laughs> Here is the vandal signature. Here's the vandal signature. He did like India briefly. You're right. Cloth. What is that? Uh, these hooks. Oh, now it gives us a rag. <laughs> now we get a free rag all of a sudden. <laughs> Two no hooks. No such thing as a free rag. These hooks were from the back of one of the paintings, I think. Here is the vandal signature. Uh, okay. Here is the vandal signature. So, um. We could Did that say Egypt is the key? <laughs> no, it said Egypt will help you. All right. You gotta pay more attention. <laughs> so much violent damage. I don't think it was so much violent damage. I don't think it was caused by the explosion. Again, he's just setting every painting down. This room was already ransacked, to be fair. Yeah. Oops. This beautiful clock must be hiding something. Egypt? <laughs> God, I just yeah. wish I knew what would help me here. Mm. I'll come back later. It feels right, doesn't it? I don't know. This room had a bunch of gears before. You're right. It did, actually. Okay, so one did go in Is there, it... I believe. Yeah. Oh, it did go in? Yeah, it just took. looked like it wasn't going to at all. Uh, there were more gears now on these shelves. Now can you pull shelves. the strings? No, the strings I don't. Well, let me try again. I don't think I could. Remember, that's only middle gear. Oh, right. You need two other gears. Mm -hmm. You need metal gear solid. <laughs> I need middle gear solid. <laughs> Kept you waiting, huh? Yeah, you did! <laughs> yeah, see any hairpins on the ground? Yeah, let me just get a couple of hairpins real quick. I'll tell you. No respect. Also, that was definitely a hat pin and not a hairpin. Yeah, I wouldn't want to put that in my hair. Locked! 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 Headroom! Yeah, these are those gears from earlier. I still can't get them. Unless I'm at the wrong view. Remember this great window? Yeah, we Where's saw that man. Where's that spyglass? Oh, here it is. We saw we saw a man escape that way and did nothing about it. We did nothing. Well, that looks like a mystery happening over there. But I'm too busy with Egypt stuff. Always a bridesmaid, never a Sherlock. <laughs> He's working his way up to mysteries about India. <laughs> the explosion must have been Maybe the other gears aren't in this room. Mm -hmm. Yep. Possibly. I guess it was I guess it was a powerful explosion. It seemed to have just shaken up every room and not actually done anything structural. Well, yeah, this fireplace is all broken. Whoop. I will not find anything interesting here. Mm. Okay. Says you. Okay. Well, I mean, we've looked actually at all this stuff from in previous times, but okay. All right. I bet we'll there's more gears down the hall. Yeah, we'll come back when we when we need to. Uh... Hmm. This glass was smashed by something very narrow. Like the heel of a woman's shoe? It's gonna be Elizabeth. Elizabeth's the one who did it all. Elizabeth. Her father so her father wouldn't let her be an archaeologist. I don't think it was caused by the explosion. But it's gotta be something about how she like helped him fake his death. Oh, that's a different one. Oh no. I gotta memorize this one too. <laughs> I don't understand what the bottom things. Um is that just for the num? That's probably the number of letters in the words, maybe. Oh, maybe that is it. Stod, it's Montcap. Don't be serious. Don't be silly. 
Do you get to p- keep, keep this? Do you pick it up? Yeah. Should you pick it up? Yeah, we get to keep this. Okay. Okay. I see that someone Uh-oh. has tried to cover his tracks. Was it done intentionally? Thank you, Star. Wait a minute. Is this that sand from the other room? <laughs> so Egypt, Egypt. Oh my God. So Elizabeth so, must have. So Egypt. What's it <laughs> Guys, about? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Time out. I'm just starting to realize this might be about Egypt. <laughs> what's? I'm, this is going to sound stupid, but what's Egypt? <laughs> um, we actually gave him his cane and his stick in a, in a previous installment of this. For a show. Something hidden yeah. in that wall, but the man yeah. was only able to reach the bottom of the wall. So, something hidden in the wall. Someone was looking for something. But the man was only wall. able to reach the but bottom. The man was only like that a mean, short, stupid woman. <laughs> uh, so. Yeah, we can't take it back. Okay, it feels here. like Elizabeth <laughs> helped smoke. her father plan. Oh, another timer. Oh God. Let's see. Wait. If I leave, does it reset? <laughs> Too it does. Smoke. Okay. I can't stay okay how many scorpions time. are in this room? God. Only time enough to find some sand. Ryan, I'm only gonna ask you this one more time. Can you pick up that money mummy hat and wear it? <laughs> There's no time. I have to pick up that mummy <laughs> hat now. <laughs> Uh, no. Also, everything you identify as a hat is not a hat. Well, maybe that one was more of a mask, but if it had a back, it was a hat. A helmet, perhaps? <laughs> Too much smoke. I can't stay here for a long time. <laughs> family tree? Or do we just have to remember who Elizabeth is? Give that Wait family tree the Elizabeth banner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you. A hat is A hat is more of a peace of mind, you know? It's more about an attitude. That's a, no, that's it's a definable object. Can you pick up any of those things? What about that lion hat? That's so good. Damn it. <laughs> what? Oh, you did pick something up. Looks like. Oh, it's a spear. Spear tip. Can you just lay on the couch for a second and just relax? What go. about that armor, the piece of armor hat? Oh, I gotta go. Gotta go, gotta Ooh. go, gotta go. I mean, Stud, you're right. Uh. uh cut any of these paintings open? Three hooks, a spear. Well, let's Someone keep exploring. Something hidden in that wall, but the madman was only able to reach the bottom of if the I wall. I recall correctly, there's I another I can't door over stay here. here for a long time. Remember when we were, uh, no? no? Yeah. This can you go to... farther Where... down the? Why can I suddenly not get in here? It's where the dining room is, or the bedroom. I mean. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, Alex. I could cut higher. Yeah, so use your gangly tall. man body to cut higher. Well, I don't know if it has to be that kind of thing, but... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if you put on one of the hats, then you will not Uh-oh. get as much smoke oh. inhalation. Well, well, one more riddle from Lord Montcalm. Okay. <laughs> don't worry, I memorized it. <laughs> uh, well, we gotta get out of here because the uh, timer's still ticking yep. down. Leave, leave, leave and... We'll regroup. God damn. Okay. I've got a page a day. I've got a page a day travel calendar, if anyone's interested. So we we just solved that puzzle on the back of um uh the Swiss Alps. Oh, that's lovely. Delightful. Uh, okay, open your little inventory, and so we can look at that. 
piece of paper, right? Yeah. So Egypt is clearly going to be the key to the cipher. Yeah. But I don't quite understand how the cipher works, but I'm not an expert on these things. Okay, let's see here. So we found this one first. So... So let's see. There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, right? 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Okay. So the, the things, the onks, are telling us uh, where the spaces are, right? That makes sense. Uh huh. Okay. Um, now, I don't know if this is also something we have to rearrange, uh, but probably not. That would be too hard to solve, I would imagine. So, I imagine it's YLD space, right? U-L, U-O-L-I space, right? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I feel like I need to do this too. So I can watch, so I can see it. I'm gonna get some paper. Okay. Okay, so that's what I have so far. But then clearly we have to use Egypt to crack it, right? I always thought ciphers were like, you're replacing a letter of the alphabet. I don't remember exactly how this works. So it's like, yeah. Like sometimes it's letters to numbers and you can do like numbers of the alphabet. And sometimes it's like, What'd you say? I'm talking with my friends. Oh, my mistake. <laughs> yeah, I'm now, um... Oh, wow. Well. Hey, anybody want to see uh, early designs for the role models screen? Yeah! yeah how we present <laughs> people, people fighting over their roles. You found your paper test? Yeah. Anyway. So what travel destination are you yours on the back of? Uh, this is a pamphlet for um, moving to uh, uh, Buenos Aires. Oh, well, you know, I'll take it. That's a big one. Let me kind of see the whole, whole screen there. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Kind of how we did it. Okay. And this is. I how wish I Egypt make my... and Help had the same amount of letters in them, and then we could just switch them. Sure. I wish that too. I like that plan. Okay, I found a blank picture. Okay. Pretty sure it's an auto key cipher. You're supposed to use the board to solve it. Honestly, I use brute force ciphers. Usually brute force ciphers. Um, let's see what that board looks like again. <laughs> Too much smoke. I can't stay Too here much for a long smoke. Time. Ah. Oh, are those supposed to be spaces? Or No, I think they're all just... Okay, and we can repeat these, too. Wow. There's a lot of space here. That's okay. We just need to solve both of them. Will you show us the other piece of paper? I won't. That you found? Yeah, I said it's room. There you go.
I thought you memorized this. I memorized it. <laughs> okay. Okay, so let's see. We have one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Well, Stodds already thinks he's got it, eh? So we're assuming these are being broken down in order, right? So That's you don't have was, to rearrange it. That's what I was assuming, but who knows? Okay, let's look at the other one here too. This is not this is not riveting, but people are solving it at home, so I assume that's fun enough. Okay, the other one is one, two, three. They don't four, make sense five. just rearranging. So clearly, we're replacing something. Right, guys? Okay, it's not... Or, yeah, you guys are right. Thank you. Your, your, your unhelpful jokes are very helpful. <laughs> Ted uses um, the Zodiac. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Am I wrong that I thought six. Egypt was like the key? Because that was like such an obvious piece of paper. Maybe it's not. It might be. Um, I think I think that's totally fair. I'm just re I'm putting them in the order that I think that they're supposed to be here. Although uh, it may be too. It may even be simpler than I think it is. I'm I'm just adding the spaces so I can see them. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's what I did. So it looks like this. Uh, yep. Mm -hmm. I'm doing the other one now. U T L and L H N H. Sad and House of Darkly are figuring it out on their own. Hold on, everyone. I, I my pencils are behind you. Hold on. <laughs> I T E G H C N E. Yes. So then I feel like you start at, what's the process here? Don't you start with like a short, like you would start with the two letter word and be like, okay, well that can only be so many things. Right, right. Like UW so is like of yeah. or it. Or right. two and two. So if it's a two, then it's T O, which means that At. the word before it would be something T, which probably isn't right. I mean, it could be. There are words like that, but. Although, if it was something T and then two letters right, two letters to repeat, that could only be something like O. Yeah. yeah. B, thank you. Uh, Let's be also another one. So if it's, I think you're right. Egypt should probably go in here somewhere. Well, if we make a Egypt A B C G E, does that help us? Maybe. No. Egypt will help you. Hmm. 
Well, let's see. Stun House of Darkly, when you figure it out, or if you guys figure out that you have the same answer, I want to I want to know. I don't want to know what the answer is, but I want to know if you there's a consensus. Okay, so if... If you W, it's probably not T, but if it's at, then it's an A. But then the word before it still doesn't great. So what if it's an I? Uh, it could work. I mean, yeah, I could work. I mean, what are double letters are usually uh, L's, right? Like, what are, what are two letters in a row? Like, L's obviously probably the most common one, or S. Yeah, or F, like stuff. But it's right. probably not F because those are Fs. So it's probably an L. There's no other F in the thing, though, so that doesn't help that much. Right? But then that would be, then you could be A, and then that's something all, like tall, call, ball. Mm hmm mm hmm O O E E T T or double. Yeah, true. letters are in Egypt will help you. That seems like something you could figure out yourself. <laughs> How dare you? Oh, it's 16. I thought it was going to give us the full 19 and then that was the end. Yeah, the three E's. Yeah, I was just thinking maybe I didn't do it right. Okay. Well, then maybe it's a... It could also be... Um, taking certain Oh, letters. you guys have it. Oh, good. It could also be taking certain letters out, or it could just be um, rearranging letters in the individual statements. But then what would be... But that doesn't work. Like, LHN is not going to be anything. Right. Okay, so let's start with the hardest word. So, E-R-I-E-E. -E. Is that our hardest? Yeah, I mean, I have it spaced out to be R-I-E-E. -E. Oh, maybe I just did it wrong. Every third counterclockwise. I could have done it wrong, too. This is an E. For the second one, number of letters. Do you have four, three... Eight. Eight. Three. Three. Five. Five. Six. Six. Okay. Oh, then how did yours come out that way? Maybe mine must be wrong. Uh, mine could be wrong. U T L N L. H N H. Right. Oh wait, I have U T L N space. Oh no, no, there's five in that first one. That's yeah. where I got wrong. I lost my marker soon. Wow, I'm kind of excited that this game finally gave us like a real mystery. Yeah. This may just be, I'm definitely not someone who's like 
knows all the subs the different ciphers. This may just be something I have no clue how to do. Me too. It's the other way. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Well, you guys got it already. You're great. I missed a letter. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Anne. So, in other words, we're missing something even more obvious. something up again. You want to see something again? I keep I keep spacing this one wrong. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Eight. Three. <laughs> Thanks, guy. Five. Um, are we right about the spacing thing? About spacing it out based on the onks? Okay. Well, let's start with the hardest section again. R I E E E. Is that your hardest section? I guess so. But if it's not a substitution cipher, then I just don't know how to to approach it. So I'm trying to think like sideways at it. It's got to do with Egypt of some kind. Presumably that's the same related thing. Egypt will help you. So it's either the word Egypt or some concept that we have to remember. Right? Mm-hmm. So how could we plug Egypt into it in a way that makes sense? Like... We could add those letters in certain places. We could take all those letters out of the thing. But there aren't, they don't appear that often other than E. Mm hmm. Do we just need to rearrange all of these letters as a giant mass? 
It's just a giant anagram. Yeah, maybe. It has spaces in it. It might be. It might be, and we're overthinking it. I mean... Maybe it's phonetic. You'll do like Kufu Wee Wuchino. Yes, okay. <laughs> what about. Well, if you guys believe in us, then I believe in us. I'm not willing to make that commitment. Hmm. I was gonna say maybe Egypt is in both of these sentences, but it's. Oh, wait, I got it. You got it? Maybe, let's see. Let's see if this actually works. You guys want to know that there's a place in Scotland <laughs> near St. Andrew where John Knox, a leader of a Scottish Reformation, gave a fiery speech? Because that's what's on the back of my piece of paper. Ah. <laughs> okay, so you just have to take each of these and um, put the first letter from the first section and the first letter from the second section, the first letter from the third section and then keep wrapping around it. So it's Y-O-U, you will find. So it's like, the first is three, is three letters. So you take the first, uh, the Y and the O and then the U, okay? Because each of these, they're, they're the way it's, it's here, not the way that it spaces out. But it spaces out, the spaces are still where it is. You know what I mean like that? Okay. So can I see, okay. So this is three, right? So you take the first, the first first from the first section, Y, and the first from the second, yeah. o, U, and then the next one you, you follow, W, I, uh, okay, anyway. So, let me see here. You will find If you say it out loud, I can write it. Um, almost have it, I think. I. Have 
F I F U C. Wait, I lost it. I count it again. So, okay, you want to write it down with the spaces? Sure. Okay, so Y O U space, right? Mm -hmm. W mm -hmm. I L L mm -hmm. F I mm -hmm. N D Get it? I F mm -hmm. Y mm -hmm. O um uh, U mm -hmm. C U T Did I get it? Okay. Yep. What's it say? I really thought that was going to be a four-letter word, but okay. Oh, um, you will find if you cut. Great. Thank you. Okay. Let's get the next one here. All right. So let's see. Let me know when you're ready. Ready. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, actually, Alex might be right, because this is going to get... I'm going to lose track quickly. I need to see this in a different way. Take a slight break from that music. Okay. Ryan, I love the music. <laughs> e L T L N L H Scale of one to ten, how fun was that? How fun was it to just watch us like stare at a piece of paper? Because <laughs> we could do more of that if that's you know something that's like really exciting. Yeah, if you want to see more of that, go ahead and like and subscribe. Uh, ding the bell. <laughs> Ring that bell. We're gonna start a competing channel where it's us not solving ciphers, and then it's Dodd and House Darkly solving ciphers. <laughs> Thank you, Stud. You're always our game master. Okay, U T L N L H N H I T A I D E G H C N E R I E E E. Am I supposed to be writing this down? O P S S. What does it say? No, I'm just kidding. Okay, you ready? I memorized it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So you have uh, five spaces, three spaces. I'm eight. ready with this. I'm solid on the spaces. Okay. You. Got it. N. Mm -hmm. D. E. R. T. H. E R E L I G I O N T H E P P is in Peter. Yeah, I think so. Does that work? Okay. Or did I mess this up? No, it's good. Okay. Uh, L. Mm -hmm. A. C. E. S. H. I. N. E S Under the religion the place shines Under the religion the place mm -hmm. shines Yep Okay You will find if you cut under the religion the place shines I've often said that <laughs> All right let's see if this fits here Stay here for a long time <laughs> 
Well, Ugh. if you're just tuning in, we solved that cipher in under two minutes. Real uh, quick, 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 quick. All we had to do was take a quick glance on it, and we had it done. There's no way I'm going to fill this in before this thing goes, though. Well, oops. Your, um, you need to switch out your L. Yeah, you got that? Whoa, whoa! Alex lied to me and said I could type, and then I tried to type, and now I'm in this random mode. To be fair, he asked if you could type. He didn't say you could type, but... You're right. You're right. I'm sorry. Well, here we are in dev mode. <laughs> yeah, I wonder what that was. See, the other funny thing about this is that I don't have the manual to this game and I've been unable to find it. So we just may have found some shortcut keys that would have saved us a lot of time. Let's see what <laughs> let's see what it looks like when we die from this particular puzzle. What do we think what are the odds are it's gonna be the same as when we die from a scorpion? I hope that the you will just stays on the screen the whole time. Me too. Maybe we won't die. Maybe we won't die. Maybe we just have to live like this. <laughs> well, we definitely broke it. Too much smoke. Oh, the I smoke! Here for a long time. You know what happens if you try to get back to that? Oh, your timer's back. Well, we probably broke this forever. You know what? I, this, I'm not comfortable moving on. Let's reload. <laughs> who knows how? Who knows how long it'll take for us to find out how broken we just made that? Yeah, it's true. Uh, uh do we say was this? Wait, no. Wait, I thought we saved. Okay. No. I thought you had saved. No, we definitely we definitely saved. saved after this. Oh, I'm just looking at the wrong date, that's why. Okay. We're okay. still in level four, not five. Yeah. <laughs> Holy moly. But we are cracking ciphers like a moment's notice. Okay. I mean, we got out of that rock door in like 60 seconds flat. Yeah, you're right. That was so quick. There was there was <laughs> certainly not a lot of hedging around. No! One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. <laughs> Obviously, it's a waltz, but opposite. Here I stand, head in hand. Turn my face <laughs> to the wall. Okay, well, I am just gonna go as quickly as I can. You will... It needs to be IF. No, you will find. Oh, I'm sorry, yes. I thought you already had find. Sorry. If... I mean, maybe this doesn't isn't what goes here. <laughs> I can't breathe. <laughs> but Ryan, didn't you hear they added his coughing? So this that death was clearly from smoke inhalation. That's a totally different death. <clears throat> oh, you think it might stick? Oh, you're right, Anne. Let's try that. Let's see if we crash it again, Ooh. and we did. All right. Don't worry. Um, the natural wonders of Greece, including Santorini, oh. is one of the world's most stunning islands. Well, it's on Santorini. Santorini. Uh huh. What What's there? Anything? Well, good? let me tell you. It's whitewashed villages perched on the lip of a oh. flooded caldera. Whitewashing the villages again. They hired Scarlett Johansson. <laughs> Rude. But did you know that a collapsed volcanic crater is called a caldera? And uh, tourists bask on the on the Black Sea beaches. Oh, okay. Take boat snow. trips I through the caldera and collect sunsets over the water. Collect sunsets? No thanks. Is that what it says? Yeah. Not that I don't believe you, but I've seen when you tried to memorize things before. <laughs> 
You mean that's flawless? Yes. Why don't you leave and come back before you spend a lot of time seeing if it sticks? Okay. No, it doesn't. Wow. Well, how am I going to do that wow. that quick? This mouse is terrible. Is this what I'm supposed to be doing here? Maybe. Because the other thing is, you will find if you cut under the religion, the place shines. Like, that sounds like a clue to me, not something I would put in the wall. You know what I mean? Yeah, ag agree. And you have a knife, and you, you could cut places. You will find if you cut under under the religion. The place shines. There's gonna be like something like golden hidden under something. Yeah. Um. Okay. Let's start. So. Do you, do you need paintings? Paintings of was looking for something like hidden in that wall. But the madman was the only or to reach the bottom of the wall. Uh, there was that, um... Uh, there was that stained glass window, but I don't think we can get back to it now with all the new... the new, uh, stuff. Let's see. Yeah. This is locked, right? Being here is very oh, that's dangerous. that's fire. Check other room. Locked! That's locked. Okay. What do we have here? What are these paintings in the hall? We have hooks. This was, like, a cloth we found, I guess. Spear. Crack a window is right. Uh, on the ground, you mean? Mm-hmm. Uh, I've looked at all of them, I believe. That's where we came from. I was, th I was thinking maybe you had to cut one open. Oh, look at this. Yes, that... <clears throat> what window? What, are you talking seeing a window I'm not? Um, no. Oh, there is um, there is that section of carpet. So much violent damage. What is that? I don't think it was caused by the explosion. Hmm. I see that someone has tried oh, to no, cover uh, his tracks. Was it done intentionally? No uh, inventory here. Okay. Uh, there's also this. Okay, wait. So. That's okay. The study. This is the room with it. It's on the thing. This is the study. Uh, so, uh, what was the painting? Computers. The place where the walls already been cut. What was the painting that was hanging there? Can you see what the painting is on the ground? Uh, I mean, they're kind of just a bunch of paintings, but I'll look. Yeah, the room's fun. Locked. We're looking for games where the mouse doesn't work, most yeah. of the Locked. clues are invisible, and um, the music is so Locked. loud that Ryan freaks out. <laughs> yeah, that's, so... the, that's sort of like the Venn diagram of, of games, which is why this one has been perfect. Honestly, this has checked every box, which I was so surprised by. But it's been my favorite yeah. game, probably not counting the game of the entire life of public school. Life. That's been my <laughs> only better game. Okay. Now what are you up to, Ryan? <laughs> <laughs> what you doing, buddy? <laughs> now I'm in here he just, for a little bit. He just wanted to go in here and see if you can explode the chimney? Yeah, you know, I just wanted that's to see. Cool. Well, it's okay. You, you cool. clearly you don't like that plan, so that's fine. <laughs> um, there's there's scratch marks all over this wall. There's this was one of the. You're right. 
paintings. My idea was wrong. No, I'm just trying to show you <laughs> the painting, you know. But we, does it feel like we need to find a place to cut? Or do we feel like we're going to insert that somewhere? Uh, I, I think it's a clue to us. I don't think we have to put that on the side. But, you know, I, I don't think it's going to be physically possible to put that on the thing. But maybe we do have to. Who knows? Yeah. It's just weird that, like, why would you type that into the wall? It sounds like it's a clue, not something that needs to be put somewhere. Yeah. So but, we need to go look for religions. We can cut something under it. Yeah, which, like... <laughs> Too much smoke. I can't stay here for a long time. <laughs> No, the wall does not save your progress, Dad. That's the thing. Which is crazy. Yeah, but Alex, how am I gonna? Well, I mean, we could try again. Look how fast this moves, though. Oh, you know what? We're gonna try something. Ryan's gonna try something. We can tell this. Um, we can tell this game that my my CPU is slower than it actually is. I wonder if this game is old enough for that to matter. Well, I mean, but look, it's gaining the system a little bit, but there's absolutely no way I could fit it that quick. Like, it seems like wrong, you know? Do you think in the real world of this game, you would be able to type it? Uh, no, I think, I'd, I think I, the typing would work if it was supposed to work, but maybe not. Mm hmm well, I don't know. It's also, there's so many, let's see, if I go to tweaks, is there any kind of like keyboard settings and tweaks? Although my key, my mouse is generally working. I don't think. Maybe you do have to deal with the smoke first, but I'm not sure how we would do that. Can you try just waving the Elizabeth sash around? That's true. Like you would do in, in front of a, a fire alarm? <laughs> That's true. No accessible keys. Remap numer key. I'm looking to see if there's anything that's like in DXWND that's like a keyboard fix. I don't think so. Uh, or not one that I'm able to instantly see. Okay, but I can go to tweaks where timing. Okay, my ratio is 1 to 20. What about 1 to 50? Let's see how that plays. That's a good idea, host. Yeah, I like that. In I tweaks, uh, is there an option where Sherlock is just better as, at his job? Is there like a scale? What no, Where are oh, you now? You uh, to... I feel so dumb. <laughs> I have picked, to bump it up. <laughs> I picked bad detective mode. I thought that was what you wanted. <laughs> no, Ryan, is there a tweak? Do you, you might have to turn off like dumb detective interference. <laughs> is it canceling out Watson's background noise? Oh, you're saying- Because like, that might just- We're missing- the whole time we're missing Watson going like, don't you see, Holmes? It's obvious. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Did you accidentally, like, turn down those levels? Probably did. Okay, well, it doesn't feel different yet. Let's see. <laughs> Is there a tweak where there's more mummies? Mm. I don't think it's going much slower. I mean, this seems to, you know, it's not, I'm never going to be able to put all this in. It yes, this is jump next down to the fire room. Plug something under the door or something so that Someone the smoke doesn't get to us. In that wall. The, the smoke's coming from the room. The other, well, oh, I see what you're saying. Smoke. I can't stay here for a long time. Let's see. That would, doesn't really make sense, but yeah. You have hooks and a rag. We were on the same page, not so directly. What about, can you use that rag over your face? I mean, how would I do that? 
Is there a tweak, Ryan? Look in the <laughs> look in the settings. <laughs> Damn it. Um, there is that section down here where there's a fire. Can I do anything on this? I don't think so. Fight fire with fire and just throw the lantern at it. Ah. <laughs> Can you set the powder keg on fire? No. Okay, let's change tactics. Let's look for a place you can cut. Because we know you have a, no a knife and we have a clue about cutting. Yeah, but it might be in the other room that we have to get to. Oh, I see. But so only the office and the smoke room are available to us in this hall. Is that right? Someone right. was looking for someone was looking for something hidden in that uh, hall. We have the locked door, the you know. Was only we able figure to out a key. The bottom of the wall. Out. Oh yeah, and we have this clock. Right. We need more gears for the clock. Look around in this room for something religious. This is also a game that told us nothing was truth, so the wording might be a little you weird. You know what? Nothing is truth. I think this game got it. <laughs> locked. That's locked, too. This was that secret door that went out to the other side of the... Um... Oh, yeah. Actually, this went to the library. Yeah. That's, we can't get to this anymore. Locked. Although, it does give me a... Um... It's giving me a thing. I wonder if I can unlock it somehow. Locked. How would I unlock it? Locked. Locked. What about... What can you do with those hooks? Maybe the hook and the cloth go together? Maybe you make some kind of... tent? <laughs> yeah, I know. I don't think anything can be clicked on anything here. So what do we know so far? We know that you have a clock that needs more gears. We have a, a puzzle on a wall, a word puzzle on the wall. What else do we have that's not done yet? Are there any locked rooms? Yeah, there's one locked room in this floor. And there's one locked room in the and hallway outside room. too. Two locked rooms. We could go back out there and see if there's something to cut. I didn't see anything. <sighs> Stars looked in the future again, it sounds like. Heavens, this room is on fire. Everything must be destroyed in there. There's Everything must be destroyed in there. There's no need to go in. Heavens, this room is on fire. Everything must be destroyed in there. There's no need to go in. Locked. Okay. Locked. Okay, let's do we the clock gears. Do we think they're in one of those locked rooms? I'm trying to think which piece of this we want to tackle first. We've got 
the wall word puzzle, which we think we already know the answer to, but maybe not. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back, House of Darkness. What was the um, question? What should we do first? Like, we have a clock that needs gears. We have a puzzle that needs Scrabble tiles. Yeah. We have a clue about cutting something. Mm -hmm. We have two locked doors. Lock. I've got um, a bunch of hooks and a broken glass bottle. <laughs> you like all this? <laughs> Gunpowder. So... <laughs> I'll do anything you have an idea about here. You have to. You have to click and drag. Uh, I believe. I just clicked. I mean, well, I clicked and then I had to... I, yeah, I didn't drag. I clicked and it stuck. But then you did have to place it. You couldn't just go... Yeah, so like, if I click the Y, I just get a Y. So now I can put it over here. Um, it's possible that... Is there a way, Stod, for you to tell if I'm supposed to be able to type? Because if so, then maybe that's like a problem with the game. With my, like, you know, with the emulation of the game. If I expect you to be able to type, then that would make more sense. I couldn't find the manual. Maybe it's like typing of the dead, but it's typing of the mummies, and you have to out-type the mummy. Oh, look at that. I'm trying to figure out how, how do I do that? How do I keep doing that? There's some commands that just make me teleport to different parts of the, uh... Of the room, or the mansion. Yes, Todd, uh, you can be yeah. honest with me. Todd's thinking carefully about how to break it to us. This puzzle must. This clock puzzle. I bet we're gonna find gears in those two rooms. I guess. I don't even know why I'm trying to do anything with this clock. Right. That's what I'm wondering, Stud. Okay. I mean, if are we if we're on the right track of having to put that in there, then I'll try to solve that issue. But says Todd. not need it. Hmm. Being here is very dangerous. I'll check other rooms. Oh. This mansion has a really good like fire door system. Like must have installed some like metal magnetized doors to keep that fire in one room. It's true. Uh, I mean, that small amount of smoke is a small price to pay for your safety. It's true. Uh, okay, I closed it again. I'm trying to see if there's a way to further fix the timing. Uh, I guess I could do... Oh, oh, actually, I guess I could do this. There's a time stretch feature. Oh, extended timers? Like Jackbox games? Like Jackbox games. Okay, go ahead, Alex.
Ah. Uh. Oh, okay, okay. Now, when you say deal with the smoke, do you mean like just emotionally we need to come to terms with the fact that going into a smoky room? You need to room? realize that the smoke is going to be an issue and get over just it. Just really deal with it. So we can need to put out a fire. Or... All right, let's try it. Let's try it. Don't we have a piece of paper that tells us like a zombie a mummy prayer? Uh, and then we also have this hint about cutting under religion. Uh, can we undercut religion? That's what I would like. Yeah. To <laughs> All right. Let's uh, let's go back anew with Alan's notion. 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 Um, guidance. Go up the stairs and touch the time. We have that. We didn't quite really address that. Egypt will help us. Oh, touch the time. That's the clock. So we have to figure out the clock first. Oh, I didn't totally blanked on that connection. I forgot we even had that clue. All right, touch the time. I already the time touched it. I've touched touch it, it again. I touched it so much. <laughs> I'll look at it again, though. Let's see. What about this, you have this book? I got it at my local Rite Aid. I don't know what it's. It's called Ticky Ya. More like Wrong Aid. Yeah, we're on fire tonight, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh, we're moving. <laughs> yeah. Y'all ready for this? <laughs> If you need a pair who can get out of your wine cellar, solve your cryptic puzzles, and fix your clock, we're the siblings for you. Hi, are you trapped in your wine cellar? Uh, we are. Please help us. <laughs> Oof. Well. I think we can still be bottle twins, Lemon. Da, da, na, 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 na. Can't touch this. Can you add hooks to the clock? Can you set the clock on fire? I spear the can clock. You, can you spear the clock? Can you... Is there a view we're not seeing? Because it feels like those little dangly things are not a picture they're part of things we can move agreed you know? yeah clicking everything i can click maybe it's three o'clock and arnie is finally right it's finally coming back around <laughs> i would love to do an escape room with you guys oh yeah stott's fun to do an escape room with for sure I mean, it's not even giving me the interaction thing. But then sometimes it doesn't until you're holding the right thing. Yeah. You tried the hooks, I assume? Yeah. I tried the hooks, but who knows if I'm trying them right. Whoops. Something happened? Oh! There we go. <gasps> Way oh, above. so you have, to, you have to weigh it. You have to weigh it down. I bet you're right. Here we go. All right. Here we I'll go, just guys. Put my purse on here. No. 11 p.m. Eastern time, and we're just getting started. Cooking with gas on level four. <laughs> level. This one's a speed run for level four of Sherlock and the Mummy. Now, what you're gonna want to do is skip the fire room, go straight to the <laughs> clock. <sighs> wait. 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 Don't tell me. Don't touch this. No, 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 no. 
nah, nah. your first nah, nah. Is, okay don't touch this you could <laughs> don't touch, touch this you could touch it but don't don't all right uh, that's enough left progress for today <laughs> well now we need something to hook i bet if you look around the room now you can like find something that will weigh it down Okay, I've been picking up a lot of things. This but maybe it? it'll, maybe it'll be, maybe it'll be brand new. Slippers. Oh, what are those things? Where? Oh, those are slippers. Over here, those are slippers. Never mind, no slippers. They just look so tiny. Where would you find weights or something heavy? Something with a hook that's heavy. In a minute. How about I will not find Egypt? Anything interesting here. Egypt will help you. Hey, did Egypt actually help us? No. Not yet. So that clue is yet to be used. <laughs> oh! -ho! We're gonna keep that one in our back pocket. I'm keeping it in my front pocket. Long door. Ryan, you've got looking at things fatigue. You gotta just like you gotta yeah. walk around or something. Like, take a second. We've searched for tiny things too much. I can't Knock. I can't describe how annoying this mouse is. It won't stay mm. in the game. It's Okay. Lock. Lock. Oh, I know. I'll just uh, clean off the old lock here. Lock. Yeah. <laughs> so what do you think? Do we have to find things, three things that are roughly lock. equal weight, or are, we, are they varying weights? Oh. For the clock. Probably have to lock. set it to a specific time, maybe? Egypt lock. will help us. Lock. Lock. Three. <laughs> Maybe you just leave this room for a second. Oh wow, so that's intense. You sure you weren't just kidnapped? <laughs> I have a friend that uh, used to work with me that did like really serious escape rooms where you like had to sign a waiver and people were like intense. Um. Okay. Mm, this glass We're doing great so far. Something very narrow, like the heel of a woman's shoe. Hmm. Hmm. This glass was smashed by. How are we gonna narrow, handle this smoke? Like the heel of a woman's shoe. Do we think the clock will Sam somehow set take the fire the out? Maybe the that's the fire alarm. <laughs> Maybe he booby trapped time. his own fire alarm and he made it look like a clock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's probably it. Anything in this room you can pick up? Um, candles. We know that this game has a history of things appearing once we've done one thing. Yeah. So maybe go back to the hall or the balcony hall is what I mean. Okay. Okay. Mm. So we have two problems to solve. We have to get this clock thing figured and we also have to get the smoke go away. Yeah. And two locked doors still. And two locked doors. And a wall cipher solution. Cut. Can you pick up any of those candles? Those would be good weights or something for the cloth. Or does anything look new? We 
done with this uh, light? Yeah. Okay. Stud, tell me we don't have to go back to the wine area. Tell me that we're done with that. <laughs> For the love of God. What about, um... Ooh, that sounds fun. Um, what about... How can we tackle this smoke thing? Go back <laughs> to this... How about this smoke I hear about? <laughs> We've done a SWOT analysis, and we think our weakness here is the smoke. <laughs> so we're just going to look for some opportunities to tackle that today. It's nice to have some focus. Oh, heavens, this room is on fire. Everything must be destroyed in there. There's no need to go in. This room is on fire. It's magic. Or, room's on fire. Room's on fire. Um... Can't touch this. No, 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 no. Y'all ready for this? Do 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 do. I like to move it. Hmm. Can we handle the smoke with? everything we already have Being here is very in our pocket or are we missing something Being here is very dangerous yes I'll check other rooms so much violent damage I don't think it was caused by the explosion. Someone was looking for something hidden in that wall, but the madman was only able to reach the bottom of the wall. S someone was looking for something hidden in that wall, but someone was looking for something hidden in that wall. Okay, go back to the smoke room and let's see what we can do. The of the wall. <laughs> Too much smoke. I can't stay here for a long time. <laughs> Where's the smoke even coming from? I assume this room over here. Hmm. We so can't I put can't a cloth under like it. That. You already no. tried that. Mm -mm. Try that. So we need to make ours. We need to make ourselves smoke impenetrable. I can put see that. On our head. Um. Can't. Yeah. A window. Can we bring? Can we? Carve that thing out of the wall and just bring it with us somewhere. <laughs> uh, I like your plan. <coughs> Too much smoke. I can't stay here for a long time. <laughs> Can you get inside that mummy that's in the ground? Yeah. No. Can't um. Out. The chair, is there a fan? Look up, it, it, investigate the fan. Is there a ceiling fan? It's a chandelier. No. Can you stand on a chair? Can you? Look on the ground, can you pick things up? Okay. The one piece of paper said we need to go touch time or something. What did it say? Uh, yeah. 
Um, if you're not afraid of the mummy, go up the stairs and touch the time. Okay, so the clock is going to unleash the mummy. <laughs> yeah, I guess so, yeah. <laughs> now that I think about it. Um... Oh no. We have this like almost, it feels like this puzzle is like almost primed to be solved. Yeah. Now that there are hooks, can you pull on it? Not yet. Without holding anything? No, I tried. the gear in. I put hooks on. Yeah, it's like his alarm clock. He just, the mommy didn't know that it was time to get up. We had to reset the clock. Yeah. Maybe Egypt will help us because it's like daylight savings time with Egypt. So he's off kilter, you know, right. it's like jet lag. Right. That's true. How many wraps are built in iron mask? And sort of like its own kind of like weighted blanket. You're kind of a swaddled. I bet it's a good night's sleep. Oh, Ashley doesn't know mummies are dead. <laughs> That's so nice. Oh, mummies. <laughs> I'm so happy you all wake up and on healthy lives. Oh, I'll check other rooms. <laughs> Be, be, being here is very dangerous. Now check other rooms. Be, being here is very dangerous. Now check other rooms. Uh... Can you explode open a window? Can't really interact with these windows. Smoke. I can't stay here for a long time. <laughs> hmm. A fireplace? Can you open a, a vent? Smart. I like that. Thanks, Ryan. Hey, I liked it. I liked it very much. We like it very much. <laughs> Must be hard being a boot black. We like it very much. <laughs> What would I do if I was in a fire? I would get low. Stop, Stop drop, drop, and roll. roll. Do I have to click on the floor again, for Christ's sake? <laughs> but I had to stay in the room? Oh I would Cover solve my face? a great oh. mystery. I'd get... wrap Ooh. myself in wet blankets. I'd use a rug. <laughs> <laughs> I'd become made of water? <laughs> uh, I'd call the fire department instead of dealing with this dumb cipher. Stop, drop, and roll is what I said. I think. Cover my face. <laughs> oh, not that dumb thing. <laughs> I said another thing, I'd use the rug. Someone was looking for something hidden in that uh, wall. Cover your face. The madman was only cover my face. Reach the bottom of the wall. Yeah, do I have to use this mirror, maybe? I don't think we can do anything with the mirror. 
You think you're gonna use the mirror to like put a hat on yeah. before you before you go into the fire room? Yeah, like I don't hate it. It's like I have to use I the mirror because I can't interact with myself otherwise. No. Yeah. Oh wait, I still have these hooks. Did I not save after? I guess I didn't save after we did the clock. What else you say, Ash? Get low. Yeah. I said stop, drop, and roll. Cover your face or use a rug or wet blanket. Is there a place we can get water? The bathroom's on this floor, but I don't think they're going to let us in that room again. No, it's burning or something. It's burning or something. So now, if you open your inventory, can you just use the cloth, like, indiscriminately? I mean, what do you mean? Just, yeah, go back, take, hold the cloth, and go back to the room view. Just click things. Yeah. Maybe the cloth isn't what you're supposed to use. Yeah, I don't know. You sure we can't get in that lion head? I don't see it. <laughs> Every time you die, you have to also restart the game. Huh. <laughs> Too much smoke. I can't stay here for a long time. <laughs> yes, so you've told us that we have everything we need and that we need to handle the smoke situation. What would I do if I was stuck? I'd look in the mirror and be like, hello, handsome. <laughs> I was going to say, you'd be much cooler than you are now. You just... So you don't need to pick anything up. You have all the tools you need. I guess that's true. I mean... That cloth you have, how big do you think it is? I don't know. I have no clue what this is. I found it behind a behind a piece of wall paneling. We have to like stitch it together. Oh, cloth? you're like, saying that you're supposed to cover ourselves entirely in it, like it's like we're a ghost, not just our face. But I don't know how to cover ourselves in it. I don't know. Like the mechanic of covering ourselves in it. Unless we have to do it before we go in the room. I think we're on the wrong track here. <laughs> I can't breathe. You mean you don't? Oh. You mean the answer isn't to just cover ourselves in a ghost costume before we enter the smoke room? <laughs> it doesn't seem like it's not the answer. Oh, randomly it didn't. I feel like I'm hitting a wall because we're like out of mechanics to do. Yeah. Does that make sense? Like, it, It's a good omen, though. It didn't crash that time. Oh, that's good. Oh, except look at this little weird spot. Oh, I guess it's fine. Oh, no. See, do you see uh -huh. that, that broken there? Oh, good. Yeah, that cra crashed. <laughs> Let's load again. That's the matrix. We're in the matrix. Oh, that's still broken. You know what? I'm going with it. Um... I mean, you either have to prevent the smoke from getting in you, or you have to let the smoke out of the room somehow, right? Yeah. Too much smoke. Or stop the smoke from getting into the room. Time. Right. Because we tried to sh put the smoke under the door before. Yeah. I'm sorry, the cloth under the door. Maybe you tried the wrong door. Can you put it under the door you came in with? But that, that would, there's no smoke out there. 
Yeah, but the game is dumb, remember? No. It probably won't work. No um... Idea. You need to get low, you're supposed to army crawl. You're supposed to use the back of your hand on the door, not your palm. Okay, yeah. Don't touch metal doorknobs. Uh, put a sticker on windows with children so that fire department will go there first. Hang the little ladder out so you can climb down. Yeah, you have to go get the ladder. It's in mom and dad's closet. It's mom and dad's closet. <laughs> God, breathe. <laughs> um. Will the sleuth siblings figure out how to deal with this smoke <laughs> problem, or will it be curtains for them? <laughs> oh no! Tune in next time for Ryan... a fresh breath of danger. <laughs> Ryan started this and he was like, I guarantee we're never going to play this game again because we have to finish it now. And honestly, like, I'm ready. Even if everyone has to go home and go to bed, I get it. But we have to get through this. Well, it crashed again. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna ruin our it's gonna ruin our sibling relationship if we don't get if we don't get this game out of the way because if ryan has to open this game and use this mouse for one more day we're not on we're not on chapter five yet <laughs> <laughs> but we we can be if we believe in ourselves all right i mean this is we're up on four out four hours here so uh we're probably gonna have to end soon but I think we should get another clue on this puzzle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you have to go home. You're right. House of Darkly. <laughs> We've all gone to watch a big TV in a bar. <laughs> Imagine going to a bar and being like, can you put Ryan and Ashley on, please? And it's just this. It's just us not being able to get the smoke out of the How room. do I do it? All right, I, we haven't smoke. noticed an interaction point. Okay. Oh, okay. haven't we? <laughs> <laughs> we haven't noticed an interaction point. How dare you? I mean, thank you for helping, and I really appreciate it, but also, how dare uh, you? Uh, curtains. Do you need to just close the curtain? I remember seeing a rifle here. He seems to remember there being a rifle there. It's not related. He seems to remember there being a rifle there. Rude. Can you use cut the curtains down? No, all you had is there seemed to be a rifle there. But you know where the hooks go. You know where the hooks go. <laughs> Elizabeth? Don't you fail me now! <laughs> Elizabeth, now's your time to shine! Lizzie! <laughs> With all that smoke around, I'd better breathe through this cloth. Fuck you! <laughs> what? What? Oh, oh, good thing we didn't try to breathe through the 30 other pieces of cloth we had. Oh no. <laughs> Fuck you, Sherlock. I'm a little bit nauseous from that one. <laughs> so what, you just had to rip a piece of the curtain off? With the broken bottle. Not the knife you have? Nope. And that might've worked too, I didn't try it. So wait, you were carrying around a spear and a cloth and the game was like, hmm. He needs to rip this curtain with a broken wine bottle that he got six rooms ago right. when he was trapped with the robot mummy. And if I didn't have that broken bottle, I would have been real upset because I'd have to go all the way back to the <laughs> wine room. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. On the DVD collector set, there's going to be a special feature of just Ryan's rants. I'm doing this wrong too, aren't I? You will find if you cut, do I have to space these out the way the onks are spaced? Okay, yeah, probably right, okay. Do you have that handy at all? No, probably not. I don't understand what you mean. 
Uh, I have to make new lines when they make new lines. Oh, oh, I didn't write it out that way. That's all right. I took a picture. I memorized it. <laughs> That's okay. We're going to die. I mean, yeah, we all are eventually, Ryan, but it's not <laughs> you need to be morbid about it. <laughs> I'm not going to make it. It doesn't matter. I see. You have to start a new line when they did. I assume. Or it's definitely split up by puzzles. I'm not sure if it's split up by lines. Like under should be the next section. See how it's like three and three? I don't know what you're saying. Under should start where you just hit where you just put the T. No, I wouldn't have enough room if I did it that way, I don't think. Oh, maybe oh. I maybe I would. Yeah, you're probably right. Am I am I breathing through this cloth? Do I have to do anything? It seems like I have more time. But... God, stupid, stupid fucking thing. <laughs> Too much smoke. I can't stay here for a long time. <laughs> Right at the very bottom of the thing, too? Yeah. Also, Ugh. why did he tell you that he found a gun there? That's just like a weird, that's just like a personal I backstory just, from, for Sherlock. Used to remember a gun there, and I just kind of, <laughs> a little nostalgic. How can I help you here? I just gotta do this as quickly as possible. Well, you're doing so great. Yeah, you're gonna go. Your if is backwards. This definitely is helping. No one will know. Yes, good. <laughs> Ryan's a puzzle guy all the time. <laughs> yep. He's lots of puzzles. All the time. He has lots of rhymes. He's so great at putting things in. He likes all the words and the order they go in. He isn't frustrated, he isn't mad. It's his favorite game. He plays it with Stan! <laughs> that was an accident, and I mean it was on purpose, and now I'm a genius. <laughs> Ridiculous. I love it. Under the religion. You're doing great. Thank you. You have plenty of time. <laughs> yeah, that's the that's the Broadway development model now, straight to TikTok. <laughs> Instead of a Ratatouille musical, I'm going to make a Broadway musical about Mouse Hunt, that 90s Nathan Lane movie. <laughs> Cuz it's probably what everyone's asking for, right? It's just more mouse musical. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm going to make one about Mouse Trap that board game uh <laughs> can you make one about grape escape that's the one i always wanted to see because remember there was that yeah, commercial that, that was like squish em, squash em, la -da -dee -da -dee. <laughs> that's the way you yep. do it when you play the grape escape then i'll make a stuart little one or like stuart big but if I can't get Hugh Laurie to reprise his role, then no dice. Is this right? Because if I leave, it's going to reset. It. You will find if you cut under the religion, the place shines. Yeah. It wasn't right. I bet it wasn't right. Ah, oh, thank you. Okay, next to the thing. All right, I assume that's where we have to cut. Next to okay, the family tree. Let's go yep. get some air. So he hid this room 
a picture of uh, the opposite side of the same room. <laughs> Too much smoke. I can't stay here for a long time. He has a lot of traps, but I would say not great traps. Although here we are, our you know ten. Here is the final confession. Your perseverance has triumphed, Elizabeth. How much I feared this moment. Only the mummy is strong enough to change my love for you. He is confessing <laughs> that he is in love with the mummy. <laughs> I tried as much as I could to save the world from the threat of Anubis. I'm so sorry. Okay. Okay, so... Okay, what? Let's look at that again. Your perseverance has triumphed, Elizabeth. How much I feared this moment. I love the idea that Moncalf made this entire puzzle house for his daughter, and his daughter was like, I should just hire Sherlock Holmes to do that. I mean, that's going to be a whole thing. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I have a wedding time. coming I'm getting, up. Yeah, I'm getting married. I gotta pick. I gotta pick arrangements. I gotta pick what colors should the bridesmaids wear. It's Victorian times. I gotta like. I don't know. Do a whole thing. Uh, Elizabeth, I died in a fire, but it was really a mom. <laughs> Dad, I'm getting married. I have my own la, life. La 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 la. Sherlock Holmes likes this stuff. Holmes family. Okay. Only the mummy is strong enough for me. Strong enough for a mummy, but it's pH balance for you. Only the mummy is strong enough to change my love for you. It's a whole different kind of love. Oh, I got a key. Oh, I got the weights now. They were in that too. Okay. Oh, okay. Here, Here we, we go. go. Extra now long we're episode. Cooking. We are not stopping yet. I will never give up and never surrender. <laughs> yeah, no, we gotta be that to go one. I to go to the bathroom. All right, go for it. But I, I have to see what this is. I'll wait if you want. Oh. oh, this is gonna be a whole thing. Yeah, is it special order or? Oh no, there you go. <gasps> I touched the time. Touch that time. Maybe something's changed now. Maybe you've unleashed unleashed the mummy. Uh, it's possible. Uh, I should probably put this giant Elizabeth sash in here. Oh, no. Yeah, try that. Oh, okay, so I can take them off. So, um... But you got it to open. Surely that was what was supposed to happen. Or, or not. Let's see. Oh, it was always open. I didn't realize that. No, it wasn't open before. Oh, okay, then you did it right the first time. I guess so. I mean, it opened. That's new. Mm -hmm. I guess that's all I have to do. I mean, there might be more, but all I have to do with the weights? Although, why can I take them off? That's a bad sign. Yeah. They're still in your inventory, which is suspicious. Oh, that's interesting. So they must be... Okay, yes, yeah, so this is a whole... Well, maybe you have to get them all even. Okay. Is the blue the is the blue the heaviest one? Yeah. But it also feels like those cords stretch in different ways. Oh, great job. Oh wait, there's a keyhole in there. Is there a keyhole in there? Oh. Okay. <gasps> what? <gasps> I don't need more of this. Did we say that, or did he, or did someone else say that? I think he, we said are, it. Are we locked in somewhere? Is that a ticking clock I hear? Oh, it wasn't that oh, locked in. Oh, we're not locked in. I'm locked in! Oh, sorry. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> sorry! False alarm! I've got a thing about locked rooms. Okay, it's ticking. And he said, help, I'm locked in. 
Is there a bomb? Is he locked in that other door, little door that's locked over there? Oh, that's interesting. Or is he locked in the fire room? He's not locked anywhere. I mean, is someone, maybe we heard someone, remember how every voice actor sounds exactly the same? It's possible. Maybe uh, Lori Metcalf is locked somewhere. Oh, you don't think Sherlock said that? Look, I no, I think know, someone man. else said it, and we have to go find him. Okay, okay. all right. Well, it seems to be we're done with that, so let's get out of here. Um, yeah. Uh, let's check this other locked door. All right, well, let's make it into chapter five here, and then we'll close it out. Stodd says we're close. I'm gonna run to the restroom. Okay. Whoop! Being here is very dangerous. I'll check other rooms. Locked. Still locked. Come on, man. Look that poor soul, that room, you monster. Um. Well, I just don't. I mean, how do I know where he is? Oh, Al said that, sorry. <laughs> Too much smoke. I can't stay here yeah. for a long time. <laughs> I know you missed. Things went real off the rails. Someone was looking for something hidden in that wall, but the madman was only able to reach the bottom of the wall. Yeah, okay. Right. I mean, Locked. that makes sense. That uh, the thing with this door is we've been through it in other iterations. Okay, there we go. Uh, can we do this? Oh, I probably should have waited for Ash. Wonder if I, uh... Oh, okay. Well. Yeah, you're right. You're right. We'll wait. I'm back! That would crash the strangle Did you die again? No, I figured out the puzzle, but then everyone was like, wait for Hatchley! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, everyone! Hey, Ryan, you know what I just thought of? Egypt will help. Oh, because he likes Egypt! Yeah, so maybe we need to just call Egypt and they'll help us. Now I... Yes, hello, Egypt? Yes. Boop, boop, boop. boop yes, boop, I'll Egypt. hold. Mr. Egypt. Bury me a mummy. What did you get to? What did, what were you opening? I'll show you. Okay. Did you find someone locked inside a mummy? Well, I started leaving because I was looking for other doors, and someone was like, you know, they were like, no, he's in this room. So it's this tiny locked room, and so I was like, how can we possibly open it? Oh, God. Yeah. And we finally get to use our purse. You ready? <gasps> yes! I'll turn it up because it's going to be a cutscene. Here it is, folks. Oh, wait, sorry. Ooh, almost missed showing the chat that. Okay. And -de 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 -de. Okay, ready? Ready. <gasps> Didn't even animate the person that. What has he been using to light his pipe this whole time? <gasps> I know. Yeah, put your head in it. Oh, oh, thank you, oh, thank you. Oh my God, you've activated the countdown of the Nobel bomb contrived by this malicious mummy. We'll all die and all doors are blocked. Lord See? Mark, I suppose. Is it possible to disarm that machine? The last I noticed the devilish creature making this infernal machine, but I don't know how it works. My mama will be blown up. Blue rolls? Is that you? Whoa. <laughs> People keep shooting him through peepholes. Did he did they hit Moncap? 
Where the fuck? Oh, uh, my cat's over here. He's just waiting in the corner for you to solve everything. <laughs> that... Metcalf is... Or, Laurie Metcalf is definitely the same voice actor playing Sherlock Holmes, desperately trying to do a character voice. He's like, I guess I'll just do it raspy like Ashley's microphone isn't working. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, hello. I'm here to do the voice acting. I have a man of many voices. <laughs> voice one. Hello, I'm Sherlock Holmes. Voice number two. Well, I'm the butler. Come on in. Voice three. I'm Jonathan Parquet. I've got you now, Holmes. Voice four. Can we do something a little different? Of course, I'm happy to do it. <laughs> Voice five. I'm Elizabeth. Why please help me? <laughs> and a timer. I mean, they, they got their money's worth. So this place is going to explode. That's what yeah, we wait, learned. what happened? So the first of all, the mummy is somehow still after us. The mummy's still He's, after the us. Mummy, it's not Lord Metcalf. The mummy's Montcalf. shooting people through peepholes. It's not Lord Metcalf. I think it's Elizabeth still. It's got to be Elizabeth. I mean, we have an Elizabeth Banner. What else, if not to crown her the murderer? The stairs electrified. What happened here? Wait a minute. We got to try this. Yeah, the mummy is an engineer. Yeah, I, I'm. So, the clock is a is a something that he made for his house, which releases a mummy or something. I missed that. No, no, the mummy's loose in the house, but separate from that, he's got, got a clock that makes the house explode. <laughs> right, 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 right. a normal that can't, time. can't be undone. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to walk downstairs. Oh, no! Thank you. <laughs> you know how, you know how electrified stairs commonly make people faint? <laughs> he was so shocked at the idea. Pun intended. Well, Ash, that's a good place to end Simple and Game Night for this evening, don't you think? Oh, I don't even. I've lost so any sort of thread I had of the actual plot of this game. Right. Right. I mean, Montcalf's like, not what dead. Was, what was the mummy's plan here? <laughs> I don't understand if the mummy is real, if it's like an actual mummy, if we're going to discover that the mummy is somebody. Because the only other person the mummy could be is Elizabeth. Because that's the only, we only yeah. have three characters in this yep. whole story. Yeah. Oh. This one may not have been a fun one to watch, everybody. It was a lot of us very slowly not getting things. But last episode was fun. If you missed last episode, there was a lot of wackiness. <laughs> Dustin Ice showed up. It was one of the better <laughs> ones. But this one was just sitting with, like, staring at a piece of paper for 30 minutes. Oh. How much more time is in? Is there any way of knowing our progress? How how long do we think Chapter 5 is going to take? This is the last chapter, as far as I know. I have no idea, but it looks like we have a blue bar. I have to assume that it's only as long as that blue bar. We might be able to do it in, like, you know, 20 minutes. But I say we stay, save it for a stunning conclusion. I was going to say, let's just go for it. I mean, we're here already. But no, we're probably going to, it's probably going to take longer than we think. And like, we're already over four hours. You're right. You're right. <laughs> I just wasn't sure if I could bring myself to come back. I know. That's the thing. Because now we have to do this again. And it's probably going to be a short episode. Are we going to like start again and do another one? We could do, we could stop for a second and start the next game next time too, if we need to. Boy, that'd be a nice palate cleanser. Alex says you probably won't make it to the end. Okay. Thanks, Kyle. Kyle's supporting me. Yeah. Oh, thank you guys. You saved us. That would have been the worst without you guys here for the ride. Oh, this was the one we needed the most therapy on. Yeah. And just help. I don't. I think the problem is I started I started mad at the game yes. this time, you know? Yeah. Same. I walked in mad. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, it's going to be great. We're going to just will be the last episode. It's going to be so great. And I booted it up and it was like, da 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 da
sand on the ground. Da da number three. Da da da. <laughs> and I wanted to kill myself. <laughs> well, you guys, I just, ca we, yeah, I can't miss the next episode. The startling conclusion. We spent so much time in that wine room. So much of our lives has wasted in that wine room. Yeah. No, Alex, you From did the, the right thing. Ragged... Good. No, you did the right thing. You did the right thing. We didn't want to cheat, but then we like got mad about it, and then we cheated. We didn't even cheat that much. I mean, like I always try to downplay it, but and I, really, you guys helped a lot. But I'm just saying, like most of the time, we knew what we were trying to do. We just couldn't get the game to do it. Yeah. Like we were right about the three thing. We were right about uh, covering our face to enter the room. Mm -hmm. But it was just not the way the game wanted us to do it. We needed your emotional support, though, or else we would have just gone crazy thinking we weren't getting it right. Yeah. Or there was something we were missing. We would have, Ryan would have searched the floor for another rag for like a thousand hours. Oh, I'm so tired of searching floors and I'm so tired of this mouse. <sighs> Next time. We're going to solve the case of the pearl earring next time. And that's got to be a little bit better. I've seen oh, yeah, we could just start a new one next time. Yeah. I mean, well, if we finish this one next time and it only takes an hour or something, then we could start a new one uh, in that episode, too. You know? We're going to go from rags to riches. <laughs> oh, God. Also, uh, I'm still mad at Stodd for the curtains pun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how dare you? You're fired, Stodd. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks so much for hanging out, everybody. Uh, it's it's so fun. We'll do it again next Friday. We're trying to come up with a more like solid time. We always do it in a regular schedule and make this thing a little bit more uh, uh, regular. Um, but we're going to keep doing it because it's fun. And I can't gonna, wait. Next time we're going to finally crown Elizabeth, whoever she may be. We're going to put that sash on her. I mean, what if it's like the last clue is like, if only I knew who did it. <laughs> Wait I a minute, the, the Elizabeth last, did it. The last clue is going to be like, I think it's my, I think it's my nephew's new wife, but I don't remember her name. <laughs> yeah. And then it's like a little, it's like a wrench hand and you have to go <laughs> in. Oh, right. It's like a word bubble coming out of your mouth with a wrench hand for where you stick the giant <laughs> Elizabeth into it. Yeah. All right. Uh, thanks a lot, guys. We'll see you next week and have a great weekend.